Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another 10K PLO event here at the King's Resort in Rosvedov. Spoiled for choice. This is the Big Rap Platinum 10K PLO High Roller. My name is Action Man Dan. I do exactly what I say on the tin. I call the action. I will be your broadcaster for the duration of this event and what an event it is. Let's get down to it. 21 players remaining out from a starting field of 95. Just being hen, hand in mobbing all the players at this table and a lot of them are very accomplished as you would expect here in a 10K tournament, especially when we have switched No Limit Hold'em for PLO this weekend. Four cards instead of two, double stuff, double the action and three Portuguese players at this table, two of which, from what I can tell, do not have significant caches on their hand and mob, which means they are either very accomplished cash game players or they are playing under a different name, etc. Apocalypse is in the house, says good evening guys and girls, good evening everyone tuning in from wherever that may be, Action Army on Twitch. If you're tuning in from YouTube, Good evening also, we're on all the usual social media platforms, you know them know them all by now, the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Got a TikTok channel, Kings Resort official on there. If you want to find out additional information about the resort, head over to the website www.kingsresort.com. You can also buy yourself some really cool merchandise over there. For now, I'm going to get straight down to the action. Cards are in the air. We have three-handed action here on the turn. A lot of cards, a lot of numbers in my face. 65k is the bet by Thomas and Joao in the big blind with the A655 and Aku who has nearly two million, two million in live earnings that I just checked. The Ace King Jack Six. One player out the way, and we will go to the river. Blinds starting, by the way, 6k small blind, 12k blind with a 12k running blind anti that is 12 12. I'm good, Apocalypse. Hope you're enjoying the rugby. I'm, I'll be up to my eyes here with this PLO. Won't even have a chance to see it, but I assure you, I'm wearing my Irish rugby jersey. Thomas with the best hand here on the river with a straight. And Aku will muck his cards. I believe it's Thomas Rivero who has one and a half million in live caches and the other two Portuguese players at this table only showing up for about 50k between the two of them. What a day of poker action we had yesterday. Crown a champion in the 10k high roller. Then we had Elki in for a sit and go. Then if we didn't get to see him enough of Elki, we came back and had a heads up match. Very entertaining day. And the weekend's just getting started. We are going to play until we have a champion here in another 10k high roller tonight. And then tomorrow, Monday, it's the big one, the PLO Big Rap, rap 1,650 euro buy-in. Massive guarantee in that. I have the official payouts as well. 
11 places will be paid in this tournament. Min cash is 23,750 euro. And the first prize in this one is going to be 261,250 euro. So it is Thomas who has 700k in total live earnings. And Joao. Not sure who JPJ is now, Apocalypse. Maybe you could help me out there, my friend. Joao is going to 3-bet heavy here to 160 with the aces double suited from the small point. And Vesely. Who's got a large amount of cashes on his, his hand and mob. Pull a mill. Ah, yes, it's Peter Yachtman. Brilliant. No need to hen and mob that fella. I think we all know he's a King, King's Resort legend with more than a couple of mill now on his hen and mob. Less than betting, 65k. And for Joao, he's going to be forced to fold. Yes, there he is now. So focused on the other players. I missed the main attraction. Silly me. Samoa bet Chile 43-10. Wales 28-8 against Portugal. Three Portuguese players at this table. Won't be happy with that. They've got bigger fish to fry, says you. In this mammoth event. And Joao raising to 30k for pot here on the button. With the Jack 10 8 4. And Andre who we haven't mentioned yet. There's a very small amount of caches on his hand and mob. Could be a cash player, as I said previously. Perhaps that's the guy who won 10K yesterday on the slot machines, decided to take a pop at it. Trips here for Thomas. Joao betting 26k. And Thomas just going to call. Burn is a six, giving a full house now to the big blind. Big blind checking. We'll check check and now the river is the tree of clubs
He will scoop that one with a bet. Green 10, 9, 7 in the cutoff, raising to 30k. Thomas going to see a flop if he can with the 9, 6, 6, 5. And Yachtman not going to get involved. Trips for Thomas for a second hand in a row. That's going to be the end of that. Joao getting lots of support from Whisper in the chat. Hello, Whisper. Welcome. Ace 10, 9, 3, double suited from Aku, raising to 30k. And Zhenga getting out of the way. Always a crazy amount of support that comes in for the Portuguese, actually. I have to say that. I can't remember the guy's name now, but I remember. Oh, no. Like, who, who was that uh, apocalypse? And the, the rail was going absolutely berserk. If it wasn't a Portuguese guy, then I've got it wrong. But I'm almost certain it was. I just He had a nickname. I just can't remember the nickname. I know there was another Dutch guy who people were tuning in to, from a casino. There must have been an extra... 100 people in the chat. It was mayhem. We had to shut it down. We went emote only chat for sure. I believe it was a Portuguese guy who played regularly in a casino. I don't think he'd had massive scores, but oh, it's bothering me now because he ran deep twice, if I recall correctly. Um, I know we had another guy who was a Dutch guy who was getting mad support one night at all hours of the morning. Um, they were all drinking for him and everything. But I think it was a different guy. I remember... 
shut down the chat. You reopened the chat and had to shut it down again. So, <laughs> my whole point is, massive support comes in for the Portuguese on this channel. But look at this, Andre with the Ace Ace Queen Nine and Aku gonna call him off with the double suited King King Seven Three. About 25 big blinds, a little bit less. Just shy of 50 big blinds in the middle, up for grabs. It's a 60-40. Ace is never too far ahead in this game, as you all know. Queen 10, four is the flop, and a coup flopping a flush. Turn is the four of spades. Just 15% equity now for Andre as we hit the river. It doesn't arrive. And Aku going to take this one down. It's okay, Apocalypse. You don't actually need the name. Apocalypse says seven months ago we went emo only. I'll try and find turnings from seven months ago. I think that is exactly the time I'm talking about. It was before Paddy's day. I don't know for sure, but yeah, that sounds exactly like the time. It was definitely this year anyway. You really don't have to go to that effort, though. It's not necessary. It was only if it was at the top of your head, the tip of your tongue. And Peter is going to raise 32k with ace, queen, 10, deuce. Jenga, Jengfa. Ace, queen, eight, six, double suited. Is going to go all in for his last five big blinds. And Veselin is going to call in the big blind with ace jack 8 8. So it looks like we are going to get three way action to the flop. Ace King seven is the flop. Both players checking. Turn is the nine of hearts. Veselin checking a second time and now Peter with the decision. He is just going to check it back. River is the queen and Peter will chop this one up with Yangfa. Chop it up, boys. Apocalypse, the more I'm thinking about it now, I think massive support came in for a Portuguese guy who we've seen take down a title and then have another deep run. But the night you just shut off the chat, I think it was a guy from Belgium, a Belgium casino somewhere around that area like there's just so many flags and names coming in week in week out it'd be impossible to remember them all 
it's hard enough keeping up with the French regs alone in, under this roof. If you were to combine all the nationalities, that is why the King's Resort is so special, folks. People flock from everywhere to be under the King's Resort roof, live from Rosvedov. If you're just tuning in, it's a 10k PLO high roller, the second one of the weekend, and it's only Saturday night. Twenty players remaining now. Shuau in the big facing the open. From the Queen 10, 9, 8, double suited. He's going to essentially commit himself with the King, King, Queen tree. Is just going to call. Jack 8 4 is the flop. Chihuahua all in for his last 112k. Gets quickly called. 4 2 4 in the middle. Up for grabs. It's a 60 40 in Thomas's favour. Wrapping around the Jack 8 4 nicely with the Queen 10 9 8. is the ace of spades now the king's looking good with 70% equity as we hit the river river is the queen of clubs Thomas has eliminated Joao in 20th place that means 19 players remaining now we've had another elimination so 18 players remaining now Average stack just over 500k. Five players now at this table. We will get another table, another player at this table. We will have three tables of six then. Still seven players away from the money. seriously now you've gone above and beyond to figure this one out I'll get the name it's a nickname um, it could be just a Dutch guy I, I could be wrong with the Belgian flag I might just have the wrong nationality and be totally out of the loop here but I just remember Portugal getting loads and loads of support for a guy who had two deep runs but that's not the time you shut the chat off that was a different time altogether neither of those Jordi Hall Tackers or Brian de Ridere is who I'm looking for he had a nickname. He was drinking at the table, drinking heavily.
Just enjoy your rugby, buddy. You're working overtime. You're working hard enough helping as a moderator. And Jenga, Jengfa. I keep calling him Jenga. It's Jengfa. Raises pot with ace, king, queen, six. Pick up the blinds and antis. Aku raising and taking it down with the queen, queen, jack, ten. Walker says he's going to be on the phone for a short while, going for a quick walk before the rugby. Yeah. The calm before the storm. Eight, nine, deuce is the flop, two hearts, blind v blind. Ace king, ten, eight, all in to call. Forced to let it go. Aku wrapping around that one nicely. Opponent forced to fold.
So still 18 remaining. Ace Jack 10 4 double suited for Thomas in the hijack, raising the pot. And Peter going to call at the ace king nine seven double suited. Top is eight eight five. Flop going check check turn, giving both players a flush draw. Peter with the better equity. 58%. Thomas is going to bet 30k. Peter, so stoic with all his decisions. Doesn't give anything away. Calls the 30k. River is the jack of clubs. Check from Thomas. And for Peter, he's going to try buy this one. That is 65k. That's a good call by Thomas. The non-believer. Now playing 73 big blinds. And Peter down close to 30. Good bluff there by Peter. Knew he couldn't win by checking. A great call by Thomas. Cockle says so tomorrow Monday will be the 2k main event the PLO the big rap main event will be tomorrow and Monday that is correct Peter raising pot the 9876 and Leo with the ace ace five deuce is going to three bet to 120k
new player at the table. Welcome, he says, welcomes himself with a tree bet. Peter is going to continue for 84,000 more. We'll see the flop, and the flop is ace, queen, three. Set for Leo. Really bad flop here for Peter's six, seven, nine, eight, double suited. Nothing in it for him at all. Maku raising to 30k with the 10, 9, 6, 5, double suited. Thomas going to call in the big blind with the king, queen, 9, 7. Pop is ace, queen, 8. Comes full to 40k continuation bet from Aku. Leo raising to 33k from the cutoff with Jack 1097. Thomas going to call from the small with Queen 1097. Peter now with a double suited King 1043. In for a penny, in for a pound. 21k more to call. Does flick it in. King Jack Deuce is the flop. Good flop for Peter. Looks like he's going to pot this one with just 100k behind. Bets 111.
Thomas is going to call. This pot now, 333k, both players with just 100k to worry about. Thomas puts him in, but it is Peter with 79% equity making the call. Thomas going to need help, or Peter will win. Nice chunky pot of over half a million. River is the six of spades. Peter will now be playing five hundred and thirty three thousand. Pockliffe says he can barely see a thing on his phone. Technology these, these days, buddy. You want to stay indoors, be a house hatcher. In, stay inside where it's nice, warm, and safe. You don't know what could happen when you leave the house and go for a walk. Besides all else, you'll be missing out on action. So, three-way action to the flop here. Button against small blind against big blind. Peter with the most amount of equity. Forced to let it go. Thomas with the nut flush blocker. Takes that one down. Veselin in the hijack with ace jack jack eight raising to 30k. And Zhengfa all in with queen jack nine seven. He's in at 60 40 for his tournament life. 114k in the pot.
queen six four one diamond two spades Turn is the seven of spades ninety six percent now for Zhengfa. And he will double up. Best him with ace king, king nine, double suited, raised to 40k. Off a very healthy 1 million stack. Blinds have just gone up. 8k is the small blind, 16k is the big blind with a 16k running big blind ante. That's 8, 16, 16. Zhengfa, ace queen, 10, 5, double suited, calls to 40k. Just 74k behind. And it's gone all in and call. Invest in betting. Enough to put. Just check call, sorry, the 74k. So 268 in the middle. It's a 60-40. In Veselin's favour. Turn is another nine. Giving Veselin trips. River is the five of diamonds. Veselin has eliminated Zhengfa in 17th place. And that means, folks, we have reached 16 players remaining, which we are means we are going to go on a short break for the guts of 20 minutes just under 20 minutes we're going to come back with two tables of eight and we will be crowning yet another champion at this fantastic king's resort live from roswell tonight so don't go anywhere and i will see you all in a few moments
Good boy saying, yeah, I've been using the no fold quite often. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. You're just like, yeah, no, nope. I'm out of here. GG's. Gurman just like, we, we spotted the tanker chat. We've spotted the tanker. Red Misty said, Poker Room Kings, good afternoon, sir, and thank you for the great coverage. Red Misty, welcome to the stream. I, I understand, like, tanking and whatnot in marginal decisions, but the tanking with, uh, oh boy. The tanking with, you know, the Queen 7 from plus one earlier and out of 10 4, it feels, feels a bit. Poker City now saying hi Henry, great job as per usual, keep it up, greetings, Peter from Poker City, provide Dutch commentary for Kings every now and then, shout out Poker City and now shout out to all the Dutch community members, a lot of love for the Dutchies, they've uh, been a big support over the years as we dive back into this ladies and gentlemen, the club finds its way to the river, could be losing a true legend of the game very quickly, here on day three. See what Orpen brings on the turn. 72k in the middle. I'm going to slow down. Comes with B50. Two-tone broad texture. Feels like a dicey turn proposition. Against the big blind range. Although Orpen is gonna have, you know, every every combo of King 10 suited and King 10 off suit, and then I guess every combo of 10-8 suited from the cutoff as well as set advantages on this board but Victor gonna attack this smaller sizing did feel like a an attackable size B50 on this turn card takes it north to 147 Getting laid two and a half to one on a call. Obviously, doesn't know that he has the best hand. Nine clubs in the deck. So there's the three tens, 12 outs once, getting around 25%. So not really getting the direct uh, the direct odds on a call from a mathematical point of view. That's if he is as assumes that you know his ace and king are, are no good. Victor Blom just picking up on this weak turn barrel. I say that with the utmost respect and love for Orpin, you know, fresh off. Fresh off a bracelet, just felt like a turn sizing that's asking to be attacked. I don't know, chat, feel free to, to weigh in, by the way. Feels like a turn card where we don't want to be half playing a lot. But again, zero, zero authority from me in the booth here. Just felt like a natural big size or a check. Orpin does make the call, 366 in the middle. Brick rolls off and Victor Blom with the slap jam on the river with eight high. Says this all there, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that Orpin has taken this long with this decision here with just ace high actually thinking this one through. I mean, th this isn't posturing, chat. This is one of the best players in the world, number one on Turkey's all-time money list. Competes festival in, festival out with some of the best players in the world. 
typically see him traveling the circuit with Daniel Boris, Sam Grafton, Timothy Adams. Orpin is legitimately considering this spot here. He's thinking of making this call. He's reverse engineering the way that this hand has played out. You've got to think about the range of hands that check raise turn and jam river for value. Blocking King-10, that's obviously one of the, the immediate good things about this as a bluff catcher. Unblocking diamonds also feels nice. Is Blom ever turning a hand like King-8, King of Diamonds? Into a bluff. Tip of my hat. And five of diamonds or something. Yeah, see, I, Orpin's dialed in, bro. Ten five of diamonds. This isn't TV table time. He doesn't need it. This is Orpin. Just doing what Orpin does, man. Note the shift in body language from Victor as well. An immediate smirk on his face. The last thing you want to hear from your opponent when you're sat there with eight high is 10-5 of diamonds or something like the, the soul read. You're just turning a hand on the turn into a bluff. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if he makes this call, am I allowed to go out there and just give him a hug? Am I allowed to do that? He makes the call, ladies and gentlemen, with ace high. Hand number 13. Good luck, guys. Number one on Turkey's all-time money list. What did I just witness, chat? I mean, really have bad hand to call as well, but... Orpin. Take a bow, my friend. I thought he was he wasn't posturing on the turn. That sounds like some risk there, but... Smelt like 10-5 of like diamonds, like something enough. like that. Enough. Yeah. He makes the call. <laughs> Three with the Queens second time in the space of two orbits Up against Reard. To the three bet on the button to 200k. Sign off this hand around about 45 effective. deep are we here 43 button I mean it's button v hijack it's a very aggressive very competent put out pun three wow he does announce all in chat this is a chip lead pot here wow. and a snap call from pun three and again he sees that he's got his opponent Drawing two, two outs. Chat, this is the biggest tournament of the feature table after 13 hours of play. Yeah, yes. I know. Queens again. Wow, good luck. Queen two. Well, well, well. Jack, five, three, all clubs. 
Reared picking up a bunch of outs and just has Punsri dead on the turn. Wow. Takes it on the chin. Like an absolute champion. Put out Punsri saying, What can you do? Wow. Has Zidek drawing to two outs. Nice Queens against nines. <laughs> one point one. Again for a chip lead pot. One point one. Yeah, one point one. Yeah, one point nine. One point six. Nine on the flop. Now had rear drawing to two outs. One for fifteen. Queens against tens. Oh, this is not Gets four one flushed. Yeah. One, 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 one still smiling somehow. Says what can you do? I tell you what, chat. One million four hundred fifty. Wow. That man on your screens right there. Four hundred fifty. Yeah. Fifteen. Remember the name. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to be seeing a lot more of that young man from Thailand. Eight of diamonds flashed. Sean Deeb snap mucking the Queen Eight. Timothy Adams gonna click call with the pocket yeah. fives. <laughs> he is flipping. Maybe this is what Chat, I will catch up with you after this hand. Some of the all ins and all in calls. Five away. I mean it's being a pretty fast pace. From either know? being down to four. Like, as a spectacle. As you have. Mm. Don't give yeah, him all, but don't fucking tell him. Perfect spot. Oh, wow. Like, I mean, I had naked sixes. Like, sixes? The worst. I mean, the way my range plays is like bot the worst pair. <laughs> and it's just like. Yeah. Are they going to deal the turn? I mean, it's just like a nasty spot. Sure. That was such a lot. Sweaty turn card. Open. Looking for a six. 8, 10, or a king to eliminate Timothy Adams. And it's the king of hearts on the river. One of the best players in the world, Timothy Adams, fresh off of his 100K victory here just a couple of days ago, comes up short. Embrace at event number 11, fifth place for 159,000 euros. Appreciate it, chat. Really do. You guys have been incredibly kind. 9.6. Throughout this series. Glad you're all enjoying the coverage. Once again, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button. Before I bust, will you, will you tell me if I was dead there? Really helps us spread the word and reach a wider audience. As Nikki B says, before I bust, will you please give me that info? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Deeb, gonna look him up. 7 5 of diamonds. Domination Nation. Huh? Domination Nation. Spot. Well, you sucked out of me in the same spot earlier, so I hope I have revenge. In. I'll tell you another day. No, I can't tell you when I'm playing with open, right? And Sporty P. I feel like no matter what, I'm, I'm just dead anyway. I don't know if I'm supposed to call. Hands deep in rough shape, 4.4 in the middle. Oh no, 5, 4, 3. Deeb out flopping Nikki P. Six would chop it. A deuce or an ace would win it for Nick Petrangelo. One to come, eight clubs on the turn, changes nothing. Hand 126 here. Will we be down to three? River card. Is the eight of hearts and Deeb Take it down, bro. eliminates Nick Petrangelo in fourth place? 220,000 euros for his efforts. One of the best players in the world, upswing coach, and now up to over 27 million in total live earnings. Sean Deeb, two away. They come to you for advice now. How they from? Joining the six-time bracelet winners club.
High School Spear says it's hard to kill Dave, not gonna lie. Yes, my boy, get it done. And Paul Flat getting right back on the horse. Two very playable hands back to back. Kardashians in the hole for him. Twenty big blinds in the chip lead. Eight hundred comes with the min this time. Gano gets out of the way. Oh wow! Oh, it's a cruel game sometimes. It really it is. is. This entire final table has just been so cruel. Ben Heath. Came in one of nine, out in seventh, I believe. Out in sixth, rather. Colin. Julian Martini announces himself, and the Paul Bar just gets the click call with the Cowboys. Going to win this four out of five times, and he's going to have a huge chip lead. Wow. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. Queen Jack <laughs> 10 middle set for the Frenchman, but he's not out of dodge yet Ace or a nine would give Paul a straight King would give him a bigger set and obviously running spades also working for him Wow oh, Could be down to two million Six at game really unfortunate for him unless he can find a miracle river Ace, nine, or king oh. needed. Nine ball, corner pocket. <laughs> and the Triton <laughs> boss man <laughs> extends his arm as a token of GG's to Julian Martini. Fifth place. Get some GG's in the chat for a true legend Thank of you. the game. 107K. And now the Triton head huncho, chip leader with four left, looking for brace at number one. Absolutely. Really unfortunate run out is the hope that kills you, as we say. But a valiant effort from Martini out in fourth place. What's up? Good morning. How are you ready for today? Yeah. See you at Kings.
Hello folks, we are back and what a table we have here. 16 remaining in a 10k PLO high roller, the second one of the weekend. Florian Langman at this table as well as Hussein Ensan, Thomas who we had at the last table, Leo as well, and Faradin Mustafov, Antoine Suarez, who was playing yesterday at the FT, Jonas Kronwitter, and rounding out the table, we have Omar Huang. Sixteen remaining, eleven will get paid. This is the Big Rap Platinum 10K PLO High Roller coming to you live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov. If you are just tuning in, my name is Action Man Dan in the house. Apocalypse says hello to Bird. Hello, Bird. What up, my G? What's the crack, man? Florian betting 50k here with his ace king queen 10 on the ace jack tree. Anton is going to call from the big blind with 653 deuce. Turn is the seven of clubs, 204k in the pot. And Suarez going to fold to the double barrel. <laughs> so they are five players away from the money and the main cash will be 23,750 euro all chasing the first prize and the title for 261,250 euro safe to say Basically, every player at this table in a 10K with 16 remaining all have accolades and results to their name. Some more than others. And if your hen and mobs are looking shy and only have a couple of results, it's most likely because they are predominantly a cash player. So bear that in mind if you are Googling and hen and mobbing the fellers that are remaining in the field. One more famous in that man there, Ensign. He gets out of the way. Thomas tree betting to 100k with the ace ace jack six. Omar, the original razor with the ace queen tree deuce. Omar going to call just with 32,000 behind 10, 7, 5 is the flop this is basically a post flop 
coin flip. in the middle. Turn is the sixth of hearts. River is the king of spades. Thomas's aces are going to hold and eliminate Omar in 16th place that means 15 players remaining now we are four eliminations away from the money hot flips is giving me updates on the rugby says it's 3-3 after 18 minutes ireland against tonga Tell Ireland to get a move on Apocalypse, this is unacceptable. Slow starters. They'll be coming in hot for the main. Hussein and Son raising the 50k with the ace 96 deuce double suited from the hijack and Antoine Suarez Anton tree betting essentially moving all in just 175 behind On getting out of the way. Yeah, everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Torres will take that one down. Everybody knows this. Not only It's Jack 10-5 raising to 48k. Another elimination has occurred on an outer table, so 14 remaining now. We will have two tables of seven with just three eliminations away from being in the money.
Jonas taking this one down on the turn on ace queen 3 9 for the bet. Ferguson raising the 40k with the ace, 8, 8, 7. Go on, Queen, Queen, Nine, Deuce. Farden is checking with his Ace, Eight, Eight, Seven, and Jonas with the Ace, Eight, Six, Five. He's going to check back. River is the Five of Diamonds, and Pocket Eights will win this one at Showdown. Jonas decides to just check it back. looking frustrated at himself perhaps he could have took that one down on the river So Florian raising in the hijack with double suited, a643. 
and Sun in the big grind between Queen A3. Want to see a flop for 29,000 more? Ten six five is the flop. Let's check check. The turn is the eight of spades. Both players now with fifty percent equity. Check from Ensign. Florian checks it back. River is the tree of spades. This one getting checked all the way down. And so I'm going to pick it up with his two pair. Anton raises to 40k with ace, queen, deuce, deuce. Still 14 players remaining, folks. Three eliminations away from the money. Club says plenty of noise in the background someone's excited I was just about to comment on that maybe they're watching the match or maybe it's gambling related which is often the case have some Irish fans or Tonga fans in the building the Irish making their way all over the world of course not here to take part here to take over and San wins another pot
just incredible that Hussein Ensan's total live earnings are 13.3 million. Granted, 10 million of that coming for becoming the World Series of Poker main event champion in 2019. But still, some other remarkable results in there. Jonas betting 85k with the King Jack 10 5 on 8 4 deuce. Very draw, a draw, drawless board, sorry. Very dry board is what I'm trying to say. The 8 4 deuce rainbow. Jonas takes it down with a bet. Buckliffe says, sounds more like a drinking game than anything else, so that confirms it's Irish fans. <laughs> yes, indeed. Said it's a casino. Why shouldn't they offer drinking games? Well, I have a problem with the drinking game thing because Irish people just throw them back anyway. We don't be hanging around for tomorrow's mass. We just drink them there and then. So we're already playing a drinking game. So don't think there's any point in the Irish playing drinking games. Drinking games are designed to get people drinking. We don't need any encouragement in that department whatsoever. Apocalypse says it's 24 6, three quick tries. Thank you, Apocalypse. Where would I be without you? Well, you're in the executive committee, buddy. And we've got action here. Florian with the King Queen 9 5. Ace Ace 10 6, jamming from the button. Florian is going to call him off He gets the bad news. Faradin, 67% here to double up. 984k in the pot. are the one that's at risk still 14 remain 755 is the flop and Florian with trips 
Turn is the Jack of Diamonds and now Florian, a 3 to 1 favourite to eliminate Faradin on this river. River is the Seven of Diamonds. Apocalypse says Mac Hansen collects it on the wing. Twinkle toes his way between six Tongans. Simply delicious try. And just like that, 13 players remaining now. Two eliminations away from the money. We expect to see action slow up considerably, but it ain't these players' first rodeo. They're on a shot clock. It's PLO. I don't expect this is going to be too long of a bubble situation. Florian Benton, 40k here with the straight on the turn. No one is going to call with the ace 973. There is the Queen of Diamonds. Florian with the check mark. Just 128 in the pot, deciding how much to bet. Looks like he's going for in or around pot. That's 95k. Decision on Jonas, but does eventually let it go.
Cockliffe says, oh, Johnny Sexton, what a stunning human being. Bonus point, Troy. Great to have an informant. Yes, Johnny Sexton, an incredible human being indeed. Update of the chip counts. Florian out in front here with 85 bigs. Ensign with 53. Thomas 46. Leo with 37. Jonas with 31. And Anton 22. Blinds are still 8 and 16k with a 16k running. Big blind Andy. Andy. Big grab platinum 10k PLO high roller is on the bubble. The exact money bubble 12 remaining, 11 will get the money. 12th will leave with nothing. Except maybe a few fond memories. Thomas flopping a set, not for the first time. Not a bad flop for Insan. It's a 9876 double suited. K bet from Thomas. Florian will get out of the way. We're heads up to the turn. Turn is a deuce. Quadzilla in the house for Thomas. Thomas betting a second time will take that one down. Ensign unable to continue. Still 12 players remaining.
Anton raising from the hijack with the ace queen five deuce. Thomas three betting from the small blind with ace ace seven five. We'll call with the double suited ace queen five deuce. Just with seven big blinds behind. Stop is eight, six, five. Anton doesn't like this. It's all in and called 766k in the pot. This could be it, folks. ASA 7.5 at 83% equity. Burn is the nine. Thomas has eliminated Antoine Suarez, a very, very powerful opponent, in 12th place. That means all 11 remaining players guaranteed a minimum of 23,750 euro. Thomas and Florian now playing pretty much identical stacks, just one big blind separating the two. Then Ensign with 44 bigs, Leo with 34, and Jonas with 30 big blinds. So all players can breathe a sigh of relief. They are guaranteed a nice payday for their 10K buy-in. Double their money and some cheese on top. Queen Jack Nine is the flop three-way action. This one getting checked all the way around to Thomas. 
Thomas is going to bet. Leo with a lot of equity here. Both players just going to call it looks like. Three way action to the turn. Turn is the tree of hearts. We go with the nut flush. Take that one down with a bet. And so I'm completing with ace queen, ace king queen, eight double suited. Florian with the seven six five three double suited. Going to call. Raises to sixty k and ends in calling. So one forty in the middle flop is seven seven deuce. Got a 50k from Florian. And Sam calls. Florian with a full house. And will show and Florian will scoop another pot. He's playing well over a million now.
Corey completing in the small blind with Queen 8, 7, 4. Jonas checking his option with King 9. Three up is Queen 5, 5. Checked all the way to the river. Orion with the straight. Jonas is going to bet one big blind. Blinds have gone up by the way. Small blind is 10k, big blind 20k with a 20k running. Big blind ante, that's 10k, 20k, 20k. Florian is going to raise here with his straight. Making it 90k more, raising to 110,000 total. And Jonas forced to release. Orion now playing just shy of one and a half million.
Thomas competing in the small blind with King 964. Leo checking his option with King Queen 94. Flop is 10 6 3. We are two eliminations away from the final table, folks. 11 players remaining. Flop going check, check. Turns the tennis spades. River coming in Jack. Thomas with the best hand with King Six. Thomas checks and Leo. Does he want to bluff this one? Looks like he does. That's 30k. Looks like this will work. Thomas does pick him off though. Nice call there by Thomas. Thomas called on the button Jack 733. Leo completes with King 9 Deuce Deuce. And Sen checks his option. Ace 10 5 5 flop is Ace King 8. So I'm getting checked all the way to the river. Instant has the best hand. He will scoop. Once more, the jackpot has been hit in the background. Eight Reg has ended, lads. There's only 11 players left, and I know you're going to have to find something else to do with that 10k. So that's correct, Apocalypse. The jackpot is 10k for the winner. Whoever 
the lucky individual may be and it can only be hit once a day pretty much Top of spending 65k on Ace King sticks two diamonds. One spade. Florian will call with trips. He's got Ace Queen six six. Turn is the nine of diamonds. Thomas now with the nut flush. Thomas bets 200k. And Florian will let his trip sixes go. Thomas flashes the ace. Florian is going to complete in the small blind. King 10, 7, 6, and Jonas is going to check his option with Jack 10, 8, 5. Better 20k is getting raised to 80k from Florian. The pressure on. Jonas shoves with his equity. We'll get the bad news that he is a two to one dog. Florian with 68% equity to eliminate Jonas in 11th place. Burn is the ace of spades.
Nearly a flip now as we hit the river. River is the six of clubs. G G bonus run with her. He has been eliminated in 11th place. Orient now playing one seven million. 11 remaining now. 10 remaining now. So we are on the final table. Bubble. A jump of about four grand. The difference between 23,750 and 27,075 euro. And we will wait for a fifth player. We will play with two tables of five until we have one more elimination, folks. And then we will go on a break and come back for the final table of the Big Rap Platinum 10K PLO High Roller. Looks like we are getting the big boss back at this table. Peter Yachtman. Octave says the amount of royalty on this table now, Ensign and Yachtman in the same building, on the same table, at the same goddamn time. What a time to be. Thomas with the check mark here with his seven five of spades on the turn. Board is king nine ten six. The 
The river is the nine of clubs bearing the board. Had a 45k here from Thomas. Florian is going to pay the man. Thomas will scoop those chips and. Ten players still remaining. It looks like we might have had an elimination at the outer table. I believe that is. That's kind of for the coach. That means we will go on a 20 minute break and get the final tape when running for you guys. Hope you're enjoying the show. So much more action yet to come in this 10k platinum eye roller. Stay tuned and I'll see you all in a moment. Big fan of all of these five players have done so much for the game already in their own respective ways. Absolutely. I think uh, Sean Deeb is the main man to go on and challenge Phil Helmuth's 17 bracelets. Yeah, I've got a bet. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah. What's the bet? Oh, hold that thought. Hold that thought, guys. A thousand percent in the eight games. <laughs> Daniel, comes a call. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, let me think about it. Two point three in the middle. Oh, she's bright. Ace in the window. Oh, Ace wow. seven four. A couple of diamonds. Saying with the jack of diamonds in hand. Came with the three point three x pre. Gonna continue for small. <coughs> I don't really see Daniel doing much other than just call here. 3.5 in the middle, Paul Poir. Jack of hearts on the turn, would you believe? He has turned a set of jacks and Daniel Negreanu in rough shape here at this stack to pot ratio. What a sick turn card. And he's celebrating that one like Never before. <laughs> not celebrating, pal. I'm just sickened at how tournament poker works. Check, check. On the turn. Five of hearts on the river. Backdoor hearts getting there. Daniel has the ace of hearts, though. So I think if we see a bet from Foix, Daniel might well have to pay this one off. Sick, sick turn. Running hearts. Especially with the Ace of Hearts in hand, the Granu likely to hero hit. 2.8. 2.8. Just hoping that Paul's turning a hand like King Queen, King Ten with the King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts into a bluff. Does make the call, chip lead pot, saying up to 11 million in chips. Dean Eggs down to 15 bigs. Nothing he can do. Blind v blind for that run out. We like that turn just a little bit, right? I was like, we'll give up. I'll tell you who loved that turn. Sean Deep, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Deep loved that turn. 
do apologize to Paul up to second in chips, 36 picks, 32% of all the chips in play. <laughs> You end up gagging and almost throwing up at the smell of your own, you know. So to counter that, this 12-hour solo commentary stint, felt like you guys would give me a bit of space, a bit of leeway, you just love and let me off <laughs> the old sock and sandals <laughs> grind. You know, like my one-time pass. Bam, I'm saying never an excuse. Boots saying agree, sock and sandals is brutal. All right, chat. Okay. But apart from that, I'm all good. And issues with their central nervous system. But other than that. Celebs and saying getting paid millions for it. Millions. All right, chat. All right. Okay. No more socks and sandals. I see how it is. As we jump back into this. Other than that, look. Button open from Nikki P. Deep with the three bit out of the small with the queens. This could be a chip lead pot, ladies and gentlemen. Orpin has woken up with ace queen o in the big. Button v small blind v big blind. Chat, does Orpin just rip here? It's for 33 bigs. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. 3.1 million from Orpin. The cold four out of the big. Sean Deeb looking for bracelet number four. In a great spot. To either just pick up this 5.6 in the middle. We'll get it in with the Queens and be a three to one favorite to have over half the chips in play. Hand number 102. Nail biting stuff here. Can't fault Orpin for four betting out of the big. Deep with the three bet out the small. Nicky P on the, on the background saying he's gonna shove over the top of this three bet. Does announce all in. And Orpin with a snap fold. Sean Deeb picks up a monster pot without even having to sweat five. Up to 14 million in chips. I see, yeah, yeah. It's history about to be made here. V blind Sam Grafton five cards away from being up to eight million in chips and number 99 of this final table are you rooting for me no you're too professional you didn't yeah no I want to I want to see a seven right in the door too much Nikki P being honest and he wants to see a seven right in the door if Squiddy can hold here it's gonna have over 30 big blinds, needs to fade a seven, and now needs to fade a six or a jack. Seven would give him the straight. Adam's going yeah, from three card, huh? to seven <laughs> outs. I, I wish you called me the Kings. <laughs> 10 on the turn. Now Who's giving the Adam buddy? some chop outs. Queen of Spades on the river. And Sam Grafton, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, buddies gambling around. Now up to eight million in chips, looking for his first bracelet.
start of the we day. We will not make it. We can bet. This even way, way, way less people. Uh, less people than the last time, yeah. yeah because okay. the last time was like 83 yeah. or something. The DJs are trying to have a, have a bet at the table whether they will make the money before play is ended yeah, for the evening. By one level, no, I don't think so. Everything is too slow. One level more, 20 knockouts is asking for a lot. If it is one level more. Erkin continuing on Jack 8 6 2 spade flop. Here, Anna Flushaw for Erkin. Patrick with middle pair, queen of spades in his hand also. Bet of 22k and a call over 100k in the middle now as we see the turn. Oh, the turn is the eight of clubs giving Patrick trips now. Erkin. Most likely just going to take a free card, try hit a spade on the river. And he does do just that. Four of spades hitting the river, giving Urkan the nut flush. Patrick with a bet of 60k, 60% 60 pot. How much can Urkan raise to get called by an 8? And how is this going to look to Patrick? 160. Patrick getting 3 to 1 on a call here for 100k more. Patrick calling <coughs> an unbeliever with his eight. Yeah, nice pop. Nice pot for Urkan, adding 222k to his stack. That's the first real hit we've seen Patrick take. Thank you.
going to be a fun one, ladies and gentlemen. This is your goal. This is your bingo. Martin Cabral, maybe? I don't know. Looks like Martin Cabral. Just me and uh, Canada. Me yeah. and Canada. D Nags, you are in rough shape, mate. Not anymore. Danny Negreanu flopping trips. Daniel Dvoris with the nut flush draw. 5 60 in the middle already. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Hand number three of this 50k. Note the stack to pot ratio around four. 160. Dvoris going to continue for small. In the form of quarter pot. Dinex just gonna click it. Daddy Mai say ha. Daddy Tom Mai say ha. Clicks it to 360. And I was speaking to Dinex. I to pick him up from the airport. He's telling me about some of this new funky stuff he'd been working on. And I've got to admit, I'm a big fan of this. I mean, you could get Forrest to just pile here. Although we'll Dvor is blocking some of the King Jacks, Jack Tens of the world. That may try and get a sneaky one through. You know, Daniel was telling me how he's been coming with, you know, some, some limps, some like four and a half X, just taking some really unorthodox lines, some quirky stuff. And look at this. Daniel Negranu has leveled Dvoris into three betting on the flop to 800k. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. I might be fucked here, but I'm not. Five seconds. All in. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, if you got it, you got it. Just what are you going to do, right? At this point, you got to play to win. All of it. How much is it? Can you get a count? Let's see. It's yeah, we got announces one all in. That he asked, right? Because then he well, probably doesn't have clean. Gonna... One, back, one, raise one. Daniel Jamming. fading the snap call. Six. <coughs> Absolutely loving this. No, 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 you can't. Five. You have to pause the call. Yeah, he gets it at 20. So that's 1.6, 1 1.9. This is uh, more than I thought. Okay, 2 million. He could effectively increase the stack by over 50% without seeing a turn or river. Boris is just going to run the numbers in his head. Oh, chat, I, I do apologize. I'm so confused. I didn't hear call announced or anything. <coughs> Cards are on their backs. <coughs> the dealer didn't say call. I'm trying to calm myself because I have PTSD being all in. This you know is a is? chip oh, lead pot. Okay. Ace on the turn. Changes nothing, like although Dvoris does pick up an additional two ounce. Ace or a spade ah, needed I didn't have one. for Daniel Dvoris. And there it is. You know Six of spades. You know corner Nobody pocket. Would believe me. I promise you. Nobody would believe me of how, like, I could feel that one. Six like of spades. Yeah. Corner Point pocket. And we're going to lose I Daniel Negreanu. Yeah. You got me covered, right? Yeah, okay. Dan Negreanu gonna bow out. No, no. Anyone knew? Oh, I swear. <laughs> like, I guess you guys see it. I'm always on TV when it keeps happening. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you almost had a nice every... No, no. <laughs> fucking three days. <laughs> wow. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's we have PTSD oh, with you, Daniel. I could never go all in. I don't think I'd ever be busted. <laughs> that is how it works.
What's up? Good morning. Are you ready for today? Yeah. See you at games.
All right, folks, welcome back, one and all. It's the big one, the FT. This is the 10K High Roller, the grand big wrap platinum PLO High Roller, live from the King's Resort in Rosadov. Cards are just about to be in the air, and what a final table we have here. Ladies and gentlemen, poker royalty at this FT. We sent Ensan and Peter Yakman at the same table. My oh my. Nine players remaining, all guaranteed a minimum of 27,075 euro, all chasing the first prize of 261,250 euro. Shuffle up and deal. Let's it go. All players remaining, obviously, not their first rodeo for a 10k buy in. I expect to see chips flying everywhere. You want action, you got action. Yesterday, we had a 10k. Today, we've got a 10k. Tomorrow, the 2k main and the final table will be played on Monday, the final day of the PLO Big Wrap on Monday. So, four days. The double stuff. We swap two cards for four. And we get four days in the commentary boot with Action Man Dan instead of two this weekend. Just enjoying all the extra action taking place. It's been fast-paced and furious
Veselin betting 60k and Leo calling with the 9765 on Queen 97 two heart flop <laughs> turn is the six of hearts Leo with 22 big blinds behind about twice the pot Veselin looking very stoic not giving away much it's very tuned in confident and a lot of focus let's check his option now we can see Veselin's cards Queen Queen Jack 4 he's got the better flush Bet of 85k here from Leo. Vezinan just with a jack height flush, but we can see that it is best. Vezinan will call him with a nice pot. Now we're playing over one and a half million. That puts Leo under the 20 big blind zone with 365k behind. Pot 420k gone in the direction of Veselin. There is the disparity of the chip stacks amongst the players. Shortest stack is now Leo 18. Big stack with 83 big blinds and everything in between. King King Jack 5 raises to 50k. We are going to try to get the last of his readies in the middle here. Tree betting to pot with the ace jack 10 9. So Queen 4 deuce here, Leo going to get the last of his biscuits in the middle, Veselin going to call with the over pair, 770 in the pot up for grabs, it is Leo who is at risk, it is basically a post flop coin flip which is often the case here when we're playing 4 cards instead of 2.
Or is the six of diamonds, Leo now. Down to 30% equity as we hit the river. River is the ten of diamonds, Leo has been eliminated. Unlucky sir, good game. Wrestling and scoop those chips playing very close to two million now, which is good for almost a hundred big blinds. Ninth place will take home twenty-seven thousand and seventy-five euro. All players remaining, all eight players remaining guaranteed a minimum of thirty-five thousand six hundred and twenty-five euro. Thomas raising to 50k. Florian calling in the hijack. Peter Yakman in the big blind with ace nine three deuce. Went thirty k more for him to call. Ten nine deuce is the flop. Gets checked around to the turn, and now Florian with the full. Oh, he's a trip eight. A set even. Now we can see all the players' cards. Thomas, ace king, nine six. players checking on the turn and the river the seven of spades Thomas gets there on the river all players check Thomas now will be playing 1.78 million. Quite a deep FT here that we're watching. I know it's PLO and the structures are just so great at the King's Resort. So a lot of chips in play. Brew some coffee. We're in for a late one. Apocalypse has just informed me. Ireland have won full time 57 16 against Tonga. Bird says, Congrats. Thank you. I managed to watch some of it downstairs there on the break for 20 minutes. Um, who did they replace Sexton with? Apocalypse. They took Sexton off. He wasn't injured or anything, was he? I heard he was playing a great game before that. Probably just to keep his legs fresh. For the mountain that is South Africa that they're facing. Yeah, 
says he didn't notice but yes he's just resting also broke Ireland's all-time points totals tonight okay thank you for the additional information <coughs> time to get locked in and focused 100% on this final table there's a lot a lot at stake and a lot going on Ace Queen Deuce is the flop. Four way action to the flop. The small blind, the big blind, under the gun and under the gun plus one. In San with the double suited Ace King. No, three diamonds in his hand. Ace King, ten Deuce will take that one down with a bet. So, Peter limping on the button with Ace King Jack 7. We're just calling Johnny the original Razor with the Ace Queen Jack 10 double suited. And then San coming along for the ride with the Ace King 9 8. Flop is Jack 5 Deuce. going to continue here betting for 100k takes it down Thank you. 
Veslin. 8664 double suited raising. Blinds have gone up. 10k is the small blind. 25k is the big blind with a 25k running big blind. Anthony, that's 10. 25, 25. <laughs> Post flop coin flip on ace eight four. Neither player with a club in their hand. Two pair for Veslin. So the next pay jump is the guts of 10 grand. Seventh place is 45,600 euro. The current payout is 35,625 euro. And you see the average stack is getting close to 50 pigs, over 40 pigs, between 40 and 50. Thomas limping in the cutoff with ace 10 4 3. Johnny potting it with king king 9 9. Besson with queen jack 6 5. I'm going to call for an additional 75k. Three way to the flop. Flop is 10 7 3. Johnny is not going to slow down here with his over pair to the board. He's going to bet 3.25. Leslin is out of the way. Now two pair here for Thomas. Johnny just has 450k behind. Thomas called. Back to ratio. Way below one to one now. Burn is the deuce of hearts. Johnny with the decision. And that looks like an all-in. 
All in for 450k, and now Thomas faced with a difficult decision. I think Thomas most likely just gonna let this one go. Thomas left it go. Johnny will scoop now paying 1.425 million. Thomas raised to 60k with mystery card in the hijack and sand calling in the foot off at 10 10 8 8. Florian in the big at 7 6 6 deuce. We'll call for 35k more. Three deuce is the flop. Florian gonna lead for a hundred K. Looks like they're all showing one card each time. Some of them have shown more. Perhaps they have made it mandatory. I am not fully sure about that yet. These high roller bosses can do what they want. What a joy to be in the booth to be commentating back to back 10k PLO final tables. Nice to see so many of you tuning in on a Saturday night.
Ace 10 8 is the flop. Veslin with a set of tens. A lot of equity for Philip. None for Floyd. Post flop, point flip. Bet of 125. Action back on Philip. Philip now with enough flush. Four fifty five in the pot. Resident checks back. Over is the six of hearts. And the flush will scoop. The set of tens checking back on that board, of course. The top five at this table 50 big blinds and above. Then PJ with 36 bigs, Ensan 19, same as Akko, who finds himself in tied for last place. Orion raised to 75k with King Queen 7-4 double suited. Aku is going to call in the big with Ace Jack 9-5. Ten, eight, seven, ten is the board. I go with a straight. Just with three sixty five behind, one eighty five in the pot. Aku with a tiny bet here of 90k. Trying to set up a river jam or induce some action from Florian. Usually you would see a larger sizing here with two cross and more impaired.
Getting the call. Stacks of pot ratio less than one to one as we hit the river. River is a brick. It's the deuce of spades. Aku shoving and we'll get it through. Florian just for King High. Aku going to complete in the small with Queen 10 5 deuce. DJ going to raise 75k. Aku just going to let it go. Eddie is in the house, says Hussein, Hussein, Hassan, long time I don't see. He plays only 10Ks. Yeah, probably when you've won 10 million in one tournament. Kind of hard to get out of bed for a 500 or a 250 Dutch Classics. Thomas with another set here. A set of 10s, top set. Johnny with the ace ace seven seven this is going to be action we've got set against set Johnny betting 120. Thomas deciding where he wants to call or raise. 300k in the middle already. Yeah. 
dry board as well. Rainbow. Ems look like raisin chips. Almost raises to three thirty five. Johnny moves all in. Thomas going to call him off. This pot is huge, folks. 100 big blinds in the middle, up for grabs. Thomas, 74% here. Set over set. I don't believe it. Eddie with some hilarious comments. This is a setup, nothing Johnny can do. Turn is nine of diamonds. It's 15% equity now for Johnny Black as we hit the river. the deuce of spades sit back down thomas johnny will be sitting back down too but with a hell of a lot less chips he's only got eight big blinds now going forward very unlucky there for johnny nothing he can do of course on a 10 7 3 rainbow asked what else did he have other than the seven or an ace i just call it as i see the apocalypse um with multiple players and four cards per player popping up on the screen and the boards and the percentages it's hard to know exactly what else we're dealing with i think he could have hit a seven for quads of course and an ace i think that was it so three out would be less than 15% equity. So I think you are correct. Three outs, nothing less. Yeah, it was less than 15%. Three outs once is only about 6%. maps in it Philip raised the 60k with the jack 10 7 7 double suited. DJ Carly got the button with ace 6 5 deuce.
Ensign going to call it in the big blind with Jack Jack 6 4. 15 in the middle. Nice flop for Philip. With 75k. No, Insan with the over pair. But this is PLO. He will know what to do. What an honor, by the way, to be commentating on Insan and PJ, Peter Yakman, at the same table at the same time. Fantastic stuff. Great fold there by Insan. Easy fold, I suppose. Give me two shots. He says everything twice. He says, like, I gotta go get the papers. Get the papers. Is in the house, says Action Man Dan. Back at it. Oh, we're back at it. We're back at it double time. Four days instead of two. Four cards instead of two. If you're just tuning in, Timmy, you're watching a 10k PLO final table. These boys are playing for over a quarter of a million for first place. I call them boys. They're definitely men. Boys to men. Nice to have you with us, Timmy, for joining us on a Saturday night. Hope you're well. Yakman, King King Seven Deuce raising to 70k. Thomas three betting to 245 with the ace jack 8 4 double suited. DJ lets it go. Thomas going to be a tough player to play with. He's got position on you and all those chips. Thomas raising to 100k. DJ limping in the hijack with the Queen 10, 9, 8 with all the additional monies. 260 in the pot. Ace King Deuce is the flop. Another set here for Thomas. Sixty-eight 
65k is the best. DJ forced to let that one go, not connecting with that one. As Eddie says, seat open. No seat open just yet, Eddie. Eddie is hopping off walls. Can't contain himself. The excitement of four card. Paul him in Omaha, live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov. A 10k buy-in on a Saturday night. Good man, Eddie. Buzzing like a bee. Eddie, were you? Uh, did you just by any chance win the jackpot at the King's Resort? There, I heard someone had won it about an hour ago. You're too late to buy into this 10k if you did win the 10k over the jackpot, but you could always pop in <laughs> to the 2k main event tomorrow. See a load of big rap. DJ limping this time with King Jack Jack Dine. Thomas raising with Queen 10 8 6. Johnny all in for the last of his biscuits with Ace King 8 7. Reaction to the flop. Four ninety five in this pot. Up to seven five three. I think we will see Thomas bet this one. Doesn't need to bet much. Goes for a bet of 100k. That's enough to get PJ to fold. And Johnny Black, 58% equity to double up here. Thomas, 42% equity to eliminate Johnny in eighth place. is a nine and Johnny Black has been eliminated in a place Thomas with the straight GG JB you will take home 35,625 euro for your efforts that means seven players remain now all guaranteed a minimum of 45,600 euro and the difference between 6th place and 7th place is from 57,950 euro to 45,600 euro. So about 13,000 euro, give or take. As Gabriel Martin says, let's go. Where are we going, buddy? <laughs> let's go indeed.
Seven players remaining in the big wrap platinum 10k PLO high roller. says he's going to Paris for South Africa versus Ireland next Saturday that's where are you really apocalypse or are you just kidding I would have thought you'd be going to see um, an, Eng an England game over an Irish game maybe you're going to support South Africa who knows what you're up to stopping off in some Wrestlemania somewhere I see The Rock is back actually I used to love The Rock Ace Queen 10 is the flop. A leap in the big with 8543. A coup with King King 98. A coup will take that one down. Comes with Ace Queen Jack 10, raises 85k. and calling 85k wrestling flopping the arse end of the straight Thomas flopping the top end Betting 115k. He's going to call one. What a nice hand here for Thomas. Drops the joint and the redraw. Wrapping around this 7, 8, 9 entirely. Turn is the Queen of Diamonds giving Thomas the check mark. 460k in the pot now.
Thomas is going to go for full pot here, betting 460k, the full hog. And Vessel in folding. Thomas raising to 80k. Ace King Queen six. Veselin in the hijack with Ace Queen and eight. Going to three bet to 195k with ace king nine six. Hundred and ten K more if Veston wants to see a flop with Ace Queen ten eight. It's a tree bet to 365. Graphics were wrong with the sizing there initially. Investing 280k more from the call, and Aku just with 300k behind. And Thomas really in control of this FD, playing 35% of all the chips in play with seven remaining. Short stack is Ensan now with 15 bigs, and PJ, the only other player with 20 big blinds or less. Then Aku with 35, Vestling with 54. Second and third place. Not doing too bad. Plenty of play, plenty of big blinds for most of the players. 15k is now the small blind, 30k is now the big blind with the 30k running big blind ante. That's 15, 30, 30.
comments of Ace King Queen Seven. Look who's back in the chat. Wah wah. I go wah wah. Maybe you can have a little chat there with Eddie. I think it was Eddie who was going a bit wah wah. Talking on top of things all day, every day. Wah wah is back for more. Kilo 10k action. Into the space says ICM implication with some short stacks. Yes, there's a couple of short stacks, there's some big pay jumps. Look, gonna call in the cutoff with the ace king jack five turn is the ten of clubs. Philip now with the nut flush and the check mark. Thomas ain't slowing down. Going for a bet at 225. Just gonna call. River is the eight of diamonds. There's 1.3 million in the middle here now. Stack to pot ratio is less than one to one. Thomas does decide. Give it up. Philip moves all in. Thomas lets it go. Or stutter step at this FD for Thomas. Loses the guts of a million chips, won't hurt him too much in the grand scheme of things, but it's still a large percentage of his stack gone in the other direction. The update of the chip counts. Thomas still in the lead with 88 pigs with Philip on his tail. Florian in third and Veselin in fourth tied. And then a couple of short stacks. Short or
Philip with ace ace, jack eight raises to 75k in the hijack, and Ensan with king 10 nine five in the big will call for an additional 45k. We we'll go heads up to the flop, big blind against the hijack, 195 in the middle. 744 is the flop. Insan not connecting with that board with any capacity will let it go. Thomas Raisin in the cutoff of King Queen 10 8. 105 to go. And Florian going to let the Jack A55 go. Players have to play tighter with two short stacks. Got ICM pressure here with seven remaining. ICM at one of its strongest. Right now, And Sand raising the 105 with the ace king 10 4. And Philip in the big with king king 5 deuce. Gonna stuff him in 
Ensign is going to gamble, of course. Calls it off. Philip with the opportunity to knock out this legend. Ensign with 42% equity to double up to 565k. Here we go. Oh, it's a king in the window, a king of kings. Things looking extremely bleak now for Ensign. Turn is the sixth, and that seals the deal. We lose. Hussein. Ensign in seventh place. He will take home. 45,600 euro for his efforts. Unlucky circle game. I'm sure we'll be seeing him very soon, even tomorrow on the feature table. So we are now six-handed folks, all players remaining, guaranteed a minimum of 57,950 euro average stack is one and a half million, which is good for 50 big blinds. PJ has survived, got another pay jump for himself, old man PJ, he's now playing 15 bigs or so. Every time I say PJ, I keep thinking of the cat's pajamas for some reason. PJs, I guess. I always found it funny. People would say the cat's pajamas. Maybe I'm just going mad. Ten seven six four. Aku the the check mark. Bet with the straight takes it down. Philip, now your chip leader as well. By the way, big shift momentum for Philip. and take it down the blinds and with his ace jack 8-5 
Raku on the button. Ace Jack six deuce. Double suited. Will limp. Thomas checked his option with nine nine seven five. And Jack five is the flop. And a cool now with two pair. Off on check, check. That's 30k. That's the end of that. PJ Ace Ace Jack Four. Thirteen bigs on the button. Rest him a King Queen Six Deuce. Three cubs in his hand, that's a go. Philip raising to 75k with the ace 10 4 deuce double suited.
Preston on the button, ace jack, eight seven. Seventy five K to go. Philip defending with ace nine nine seven, flop could be ten six five. Turn goes check check, rivers the nine of diamonds. Invest him with the best hand now. And this is a spicy river because Philip has a set of nines, he is betting. 195 best in raising to 500k Difficult decision here, Philip, for Philip with his set of nines. Tough call. Really depends how often he thinks Veselin is bluffing him here. Perhaps he can be raising with a worse hand. For value. And really nice pot there for Veselin. PJ is the only player under 20 big blinds now. Thomas still the chip leader with 88 bigs. Philip at 74, Veston with 66, Florian with 41. And I forgot one player with 33 big blinds.
Got some action here. Vessel raising to 75k to cut off a king, queen, jack, four, double suited. Florian calling with ace, ace, king, five on the button. Ace, 10, seven, four, double suited. Going to call in the small and Aku going to come along for the ride for 45k more with queen, nine, eight, six. 30 in the middle. Queen, Jack, six is the flop. Up two for Veselin. All four players checking to see the turn. Turn is the nine of hearts. As Apocalypse says, a four way flop and PLO, I'm completely lost. <laughs> well, it's you've got the board and four hands, so you're dealing with 20 cards and the pot odds and the percentages. You'll be a wizard at holding though, Apocalypse, right? If you're not already. And if not, you'll always have your sports. <laughs> the river is the six of spades. You actually get there with a full house. Aku bets 200k. And Florian is going to call. Gets the bad news. And is playing under a million now going forward. Cool. Up to 1.4 million. Wawa says, call. You see, it was a fair board. Oh, the aces. Going to be losing to a lot of hands, but because it was checked all the way to the river, decided to pay him off. It's very hard for me or anyone else for that matter to be sitting at home watching these players playing in the 10k. They know what they're doing. This ain't no yoga retreat. <laughs> Kitty game is down the street, boys. Down the street.
85 boost here. 10-9-3 against Ace King Jack 4. 125 is the bet from Philip. Ace 10 4 3 double suited for Aku. Limps on the button. DJ with Jack 8 3 3. He's going to complete his option in the small blind and Thomas with King 8 6 2. Checks. Look at this bottom set here for PJ. Problem is, no one really has anything. Turn is the four diamonds. Much needed chips there for PJ, even though he didn't get the desired effect of a full double up. He does take it down with his bottom set. Thomas completes the small blind. Veselin with the ace 10 5 4. He's going to bump it up to 90k. Thomas calls for additional 60k. We are off to the flop. 210k in the middle. Set of jacks here for Thomas. Wrestling with two pair. Ooh, and what a turn card it is. Another 10. Wrestling now 
tripped. A full house. It is inferior to Thomas's full house. One oh five. Apocalypse says an action turn. He's assuming. Correct and right. Four twenty in the pot here as we hit the river. River is a six of spades, and how much money is going to go in here? Thomas most likely going to go for something around pot size. He's going for something smaller. One forty makes it look like a blocker-ish type sizing. Don't see these small bets too often in Omaha, especially pot limit. Surely, Vaseline gonna raise this. Small bet, Thomas setting a trap, it looks like. I never thought he was folding Apocalypse. Um, I'm just saying, if Thomas bet pot, Vestin maybe just calls. I think he always has to raise. But now, Thomas's small bet inducing a raise from Vestin. The raise coming to the tune of 525. Thomas just going to call him off. Doesn't lose to many hands. He probably never gets called by worse if he was to put in another bet. This is Omaha, not hold him, folks. Thomas will take down that pot and now be playing 3.3 .3 million. Investing down just over a million now. Big swing in that one. Thomas scooping a nice pot. We are going to go on a break after the next hand, folks. Philip with ace ace eight deuce. 75k is the raise.
calling for 75k 8766 going with king jack 98 flop is 853 Apocalypse asked how strong is Ace's pre-flop when neither are suited. Takes away a lot of the strength. It's just a one pair hand. Aces are not the be all and end all in Omaha. In Port Limit anyway. The double suited aces is very nice, however. But that ace, ace, eight, deuce, when the eight and the deuce aren't suited either. Not a great starting hand. Thomas betting 135. Florian calling. Diamond. What a card. Thomas now was set. Gary Ward, though, the second option Ripper is the tennis blade. Check mark. Florian, 705k behind, 540k in the pot. Doesn't have much. He's got some straight blockers. He bets a quarter of a mil. And that's enough get Thomas to fold. Nice bluff there. Taking it down for the last hand of the break. All right, folks, we're going on another break. Be back in about 13 minutes. Don't go anywhere. This one is far from over. Six players still remaining in the big wrap platinum 10K PLO high roller. I will see you all in a few moments. All in with yeah, the A6. See what Dinex yeah, wakes up with. That's probably coming. Let's see what the other one is. Why is it always ugly? Oh, never mind. That's plenty. Plenty good against this man. He goes only with 946. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dinex makes the call. <laughs> Cards on their backs. Oh, he has an ace. How do you get an ace? This ben Heath. Remember what we were saying about best hand? Let's came into this final table as chip leader yeah a bit up and down if he can hold here he would have he would fold the six off for sure yeah yeah he will stop Daniel Negreanu right in his tracks and winning bracelet number seven where's the spiel about the best time winning now like we let's forget all that to the flop, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a king in the window. King, king. Trip kings for Daniel Negreanu. Well, 
hunting bracelet number seven and in great shape to get the double here and he's to fade the running Broadway of running clubs and Ben Heath is dead on the turn would you believe chat is history about to be made here in Rosvedov Daniel Negreanu doubles up to 20 big blinds. You make it 40k. You make it 40k. Okay, wow. That's what you do. Having a good night. <laughs> Get the coin out. <laughs> Get the coin out. Ivan is back in for 40,000. Can we can we fold you? Okay, we wait for you. They will add, they will add you. We wait for you. It's a 800 straw. You finish with him. Yeah, because he has to be It's always going to be a Yeah, it's always going to be a Yeah, it was one round. Only two hands more and it's done. Yeah, That's it. So they're still playing the round of 100, 200, 400, 800. But they started before the break. Why do you look at me when you say that? Like Armin, Espen, Lupu, John, even. Oh, yo, hey. Come on. Come on. But if you take Espen or Amori, it's his money back, pretty much. Yeah, that's true. Espen or Amori, it's your money back. money back. Are you money back? Who split? Yeah. I definitely need a thing because I lose it. We are indeed. Did he bring it over to you? Yeah, do you know why he knew to bring you to Long Island? Because he's got friends at home watching the stream. So they're, they're, they're telling him. They're telling him. Talking of Armin. Armin goes turning trips to go along with his King High Flush or John drawing dead. He's already drawing incredibly thin. On the flop, 100, 200, 400, 800 as we welcome Gazi B back into the booth. And the ace of clubs. Armin goes with the nut flush. John may decide to lead here. 12 7 in the middle. And I think it always brought us beers. He is really licking his lips at this lead. This this is a Long Island boys and girls. So we taste. I'm good, thank you, mate. Now, what do you do in Armand's shoes with the King High Flush? You make it 40k. You make it 40k. Okay, wow. That's what you do. Have a good night. <laughs> Get the coin out. <laughs> Get the coin out. Get the coin out. Flip it, flip it. Shad the Gorgeous fans back home listening in, telling him what we're drinking. Absolute legend. Not only is he brought us a drink, but he's brought them to the booth. He has indeed. He's telling me that he spends a decent amount of time out in LA as well. Told him that we, we were out there, yeah. Nice. In the, in the home games a lot of the time. Oh, see if he can get me a seat. John with a 40,000 euro decision. John's asked her to spread the part. How do these guys not know what's in the middle already? 
I typically, <laughs> I typically agree with that. Like, I get pretty annoyed, especially when a reg's like how much them. I'm like, mate, we're playing pop limit Omaha. <laughs> like, you should know your 240 times tables, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is obviously a bit different, a bit splashier. Drinks are flying, champagne's being ordered. So I can kind of, you know, I, let, I don't mind letting it slide. But. Rivers are being raised. Yeah. Flushes on paired boards. I can give him 50 votes. So Doge on the button here. Can can have all the boats. Oh, he's going to pay it off. Yeah, I mean, he's getting 2 to 1 on court. It needs Doge to have like Ace Queen with the Queen of Clubs, which I think just like calls Ripper. Yeah. I, I don't think it turns itself into a bluff. He has to have like 8 3 for like the 8 3 game bluff, for those of you that don't know. Yeah. We are playing the 8 3 and 7 deuce bounty game. 600 euros a pop. 8 3 would be a sick bluff in terms of boat blockers, but still. Feels overly. Feels like I'm reaching a little bit. Any natural bluffs come to mind for you? Yeah, 8 3. 8 3 yeah, feels yeah, like yeah. the only one, right? Queen Jack with a club. Queen 10 with a club. I think you're right, Ace Queen with a Queen of Clubs. Just too strong to be bluffing here. And even those ones that you listed, I mean, how often yeah. does, does Armin barrel flop and turn with yeah. Queen 10 0, naked Queen of Clubs, and then do this on the river? I mean, it's tough to think of many bluffs. Yes, indeed. So on the gets there on the river, bets out, faces this disgusting raise. And again, I think this is just a spot where you just call. It sucks, but I, just because you call and lose doesn't mean you made a bad call. This is one of those spots. Username saying can't beat value. Got a fold. Sir, we need the food service. Yeah, I mean, you got nine high clubs on a paired board. And it's not just any paired board, it's a king king ace paired board as well so oh he's got calling chips in hand he wants to push them over the line they're going in they're going in yeah they're going if these goes in it's these cool. chips go in sorry oh, i think uh it does make the call 93,000 euro pot and we saw yesterday when John gets steaming, Ace Nine goes in the middle <laughs> for 110k pre. Okay. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Very next hand, I reckon he's gonna rip this one in. Rip it and grip it, lads. Armin Goj. The Gojinator. That was Gojalicious. He's just straight up gorgeous. <laughs> Did you say gorgeous? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. It's like you. You're gorgeous, mate. I'm gorgeous. I'm not gorgeous. You're gorgeous, mate.
All right, folks, we're back. We're live for lots more action from the Big Rap Platinum 10K PLO High Roller. Thomas with 78 bigs, Philip with 55, Aku with 34, Florian with 31, Veston with 27, and your clear short stack with six-handed play about to commence is PJ with 13 big blinds. Philip calling in the big here with King King 7-7. Seven, seven. The Ray is coming from Aku with Queen 10-10-8. Ten, ten, uh, PJ calling with Ace Queen 9-4. Flop is Queen 5-5. Five, five. Aku betting 100k here. And PJ with a difficult decision with top pair, top kicker. Let's it go. So a bet of 100k in a call here, 560 in the pot as we see the turn, turn is the tree of diamonds. River is the eight of spades and <clears throat> Philip going to win this one with his kings. Small blind is now 20k, big blind 40k with a 40k running big blind ante, that's 20, 40, 40. They've started drinking, a nice glass of wine, 1 a.m. The King's Resort in Rosvedov, why not? Playing for 261,250 euro and the title. This ain't anyone at this table's first rodeo.
This one raises to 100k with Kings. Florian Tree betting pot with Ace, Ace, Eight, Five. See Apocalypse, these aces, although he has three diamonds in his hand, are better because he's got Ace, Five suited as well as aces. You get me, you get me, bruv. If you're still there, which I presume you are, you're rarely gone away. Yeah, I just started watching the new season of Top Boy, so I'm in that London Isn't It kind of mood. Although doing an English accent is not one of my strong points. Aces again, this time for Thomas, Ace Ace 10 5. And these are a lovely pair of aces now for Thomas. We've got ace 10 suited, we've got ace 5 suited, we've got aces. What a hand. The cat's pajamas. And PJ putting in the last of his biscuits here with 10985. 31% equity against Thomas's hand. What a hand Thomas has here on King Jack 9. God damn. 69%. PJ gonna have to get very lucky to stay in this tournament with 790k in the pot. Seven of diamonds. That's lucky. Can he hold? River is the king of spades. PJ has doubled up. Peter Yachman now playing 20 big blinds. Big moment for the superstar. What a turn card that was. Never too far behind or ahead in, in Pot Limit Omaha.
Philip Raising to 100k and to cut off with Ace Jack 8 7. Thomas 60k to call with King 9 7 6, and he does do just that. 260 in the pot as we see the flop. King 9 deuce is the flop. That was a big, a big enough pot there for Thomas to lose. Would have propelled him back to three and a half million. Now he's back down just over two and a half. 2.62 in his stack. Top two pair for him here. And the run out here. Four of hearts, ten of hearts, straight and flush is completing on the river. Thomas still with the best hand. Goes check. And Philip, not with much going on from here. Does he want to try bluff this one? Philip does bet 250. And for Thomas, not a great calling hand, not a great run out for two pair. 760 in the pot, 250 to call. Wow, Thomas turning his hand into a bluff. Raising to a million. Blocking kings, blocking nines. Expected him to just call didn't know he would turn his hand into a bluff raising to a million there unless I have gotten it wrong nice play from Thomas DJ going to call on the button here with Jack Jack 7 3. Thomas raising with the Ace King 10 6. 20 more for PJ to see a flop in position.
TJ, that's a go. PJ, King Queen, 10 6, going to limp in the cutoff. is the bet from PJ here <laughs> trying to pick this one up <laughs> Beslin folds Florian just with Queens and a flush draw he's going to peel one off we will see a turn card. Turn is the four of hearts. Florian checks. And PJ with the decision now. Not a great turn card. Completes a lot of two pairs, straights, etc. the river giving Florian the flush 360 in the pot At 115 from Florian will take this one down.
PJ with ace king seven six. Philip ace queen jack ten. Queen nine six is the flop. Philip betting pot into his opponent in the hijack. Peter not having a lot of post flop luck. And that puts him back down at 12 big blinds. Nine eight six five raising to one hundred and forty K. Guess the job done. Three and a half mil. Thomas is playing once more. And AORG says, would you say that Jack Jack 10 10 double suit in Omaha is good as pocket queens and hold them? Um, I don't really know what way to compare them, but I do know one pair in Omaha is absolutely nothing. Even a set sometimes is just useless. But the more double suited hands we have in Omaha, the better.
Thomas with King Jack here. Jack, Ace, Ace, Deuce is the board. ARG just says he just knows that they are 20 second clock pre-flop and 30 seconds after the flop uh, you haven't seen that before well if you're just tuning in I presume you know by now you're watching the platinum 10k PLO high roller the big wrap so rules a little bit different for this one and the caliber of opponent obviously a lot higher than your average 250 or 500 buy-in that you see on stream week in week out PJ just with eight figs now best limit 21 Aku with 23 Florian with 40 Philip with 57 and Thomas with 89 as your chip leader with nearly 40% of all the chips in play. PJ is in a weird situation here. He's going to have to make a move soon. And for the rest of the players, nobody wants to bust before PJ because there is a significant pay jump between 6th and 5th place from €57,950 to €74,100. Aku got a call, 100k here with King King Jack 8, Philip with 7744. 100k is the bet from Philip, we'll take it down. Um, how many asked is this played to a winner today? I assume yes. Yeah, I believe we'll be playing till we have a champion with six remaining here. Brew some coffee. This could be a long one. Lovely starting hand here for Philip in the Jack 987 double suited. going to call here with the Queen Jack 9-7 and Veselin with Ace Queen Jack Deuce Florian with 10 9 7 3 gets out of the way
Ace, 10, 9 is the flop. Philip betting 100k here. And Veslin going all in for 6.65. We've got action. PJ going to be forced to get out of the way here. No, he's got 125 behind. Sorry, I thought he had a lot more. Forced to call it off. Okay, folks. Three way all in. Forty-six percent for Veselin. Philip with thirty-one percent. PJ fifteen percent. Just shy of two million in this pot up for grabs. 50 big blinds in the middle. You wanted action, we got action. And for Philip, the opportunity to knock out two players here and go four-handed, massive. This is huge for the tournament and everyone involved. Big pay jumps as well. Turn is the five of hearts. Veselin looking good now as we hit the river. PJ not so much with just 8% equity. In a quarter of the time, Philip still knocks out two players, but it is the deuce of hearts. Veselin will take a chunk from Philip. PJ, the legend himself, Peter Yakman, has been eliminated in sixth place. He will take home. 57,950 euro for his efforts. That means all five remaining players guaranteed a minimum of 74,100. That pot is huge for Veselin. What a difference a hand makes in Ole Maholdem. And never mind Omaha. So many swings, so many misses. What an insane game. Of double up for Veslin there. Now playing just shy of 50 bigs, 20% of all the chips in play with five remaining. Thomas still playing 88 bigs, three and a half mil. But Veselin now, a million and a half behind him. Philip knocked back a peg or two, now playing 40 bigs. These guys, very familiar territory with these swings and roundabouts. Ace, eight, 
three is the flop. Thomas takes that one down with a small bet. A lot of chips now amongst these five players remaining. Average stack is just shy of 50 big blinds. Philip calling on the button with 10, 10, 9, 7. Aku completing with ace, 9, 8, 8. And Thomas with ace, queen, jack, 4. Looks like he is going to raisy daisy. Makes it 160. And Philip is going to call. Aku gets out of the way. A6 deuce is the flop. <laughs> Thomas Betts 135. Thirty five is the bet, one thirty five is the call, six seventy in the pot as we see the turn. Turn is the tree of spades. Two flush draws on board, Thomas still with the best hand. Goes for a check.
River is denying the spades after the turn goes check, check. Thomas checks again. Will show the best hand. Philip forced to concede. Queen 10, 9, 8 for Thomas in the small. Playing over 100 big blinds right now. Popolip says, why do I get a bad feeling I'm going to sleep before this is over? You do what you gotta do, buddy. You are free to leave whenever you want to. Nobody's chaining you to a, de a dying camel around here. As long as I don't fall asleep, why would we fall asleep? We've got loads and loads of action in a 10k platinum high roller. Shit's about to go down. Thomas with trips. Blind be blind. Thomas betting 140 here on the turn. And Veselin, we've got action. 420 in the pot. Veselin with a set of aces. A full house. He's just going to call the bet of 140. As ARG says, geez, that Thomas just can't miss a flop. Well, he wasn't so lucky here on the turn. River is the queen of spades. <laughs> he takes his last comment back. <laughs> yeah. This happens a lot on this channel. I wouldn't worry about it. It's a bow over bow here. And this means you could see a lot of chips go in because... This is a blind v blind battle. And Thomas betting what looks to be a larger sizing than the last time. He bet 140, this time 450. And Veslin with the full house, licking his chops, getting happy feet, loving this. This is an ugly run out here for Thomas and for Veselin. Big moment. And when he does raise, I don't know what Thomas is going to do. Pretty sick to be beat here. I'm probably just going to have to let it go. We're about to find out.
There it is, folks. The raise is 1.4 million. Tom's absolutely hating this. Wasn't expecting to get raised to another million. And Ham, how many says he blocks queens? Yes, and that's a very big combo that he'd be worried about. It's very hard for him to be B here, but I don't know how often he can call. He's not losing to many hands, but his opponent also shouldn't be raising the river without aces or something along those lines. So even though the aces are quite hidden, as I predicted, Thomas lets it go. Full house in Omaha is not the same as having one in Hold'em. Steve says, but there are zero bluffs. That's what I'm saying. It's just extremely unlikely he can raise that river without having aces. So although it looks like a very disciplined fold, and it is, it's more or less standard. Loses to ace eight, queens and aces. That's it, right? Indeed. But the whole point is, when he raises the river, he pretty much can't raise without having it. Blinds are 25k small blind, 50k big blind with a 50k running big blind ante, that's 25, 50, 50. Ace King, five Queen is the flop. And turn the river is the eight of hearts. Veslin with an inferior hand to Philippe. Philippe has the check mark here. A two pair. Veslin might feel the need to bluff this one. to just check Philip will be happy to take that one down probably a bit of a stretch to bluff there I'd take it back
Combs takes down the blinds and with ace queen ten deuce. Philip completes with nine eight seven deuce. And Aku with ace queen tree tree. It says, all right, two more hands and he'll be off. 1 a.m. is your bedtime. Plenty of time to go. Ride the wife and feed the cat. Ace, jack, four is the flop. Bit of 75k and a call turns the deuce of hearts. Philip with the flush. Finish swag asked, is Philip very sweet? I knew he was a sicko, but I didn't know if he was that dude maybe he is perhaps we could google it Aku going for a small bet here of 80k Tom Har says yes thank you for clearing that up River is the four spades, and Philip will take this down. It says here that his total live earnings is only 152k on Hand and Mob, and he will be predominantly known as a cash player then, so that would make sense. Aku now with nine blinds, Florian 27, Philip with 31, Veselin with 54, and Thomas out in front with 69 big blinds.
the PLO Big Rap Series. Really brings out the sickos in the King's Resort. Flying in from everywhere. Beast upon beast. All under one roof. And this, it's incredible to say that the 10K yesterday, 10K today, tonight, whatever you want to call it, it's just the warm up. The PLO Big Rap main event starts tomorrow. The 2K that will play tomorrow, Monday. Having two 10Ks as the warm up is just incredible stuff. Apocalypse is saying his farewells. Goodbye to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Thanks a million for all your help. You the man. Thomas raises to 125 with 8743. Ace five four is the flop. Hundred and ten K is the bet. Florian forced to just let it no he raised to 650 takes it down he's waiting for the graphics to catch up there was thinking it would be a bit tight to be falling in that spot the top pair Thomas raised to 175 with ace queen 10 3. Philip holding his king queen 10 deuce.
King King 5-4 on the button for Florian. Aku going to get the last of his biscuits in the middle with ace, eight, seven, seven. And it could easily go to the last four here. Ace eight seven seven for Aku, having 41% equity against Florian's King King 5-4 with 59% equity. 845k in the middle, which is good for just shy of 17 big blinds. Flop and Aku flopping is set. Massive favorite now to double up. Sit back down, Aku. Just 11% equity for the Kings. Florian is a King of Diamonds. Always a surprise around the corner at Kings. Can Aku hold now? 18% equity for Florian. As we hit the river, river is the eighth. Aku loves that one. Finn's drunk on the rail. I wish I was there to hear they are absolute legends to party. I've, been, I've even been told that they would give the Irish a run for their money. Someday we'll find out. We'll put that theory to the test, but it won't be tonight. How many says, oh, how, oh, wow, a spicy turn, massively spicy turn there. Vesson raising to 125 with the ace king jack four. Tom is going to call with jack four, three deuce.
Thomas with the double suit of King 10 8 Deuce is gonna call complete in the small blind and Veselin going to check his option with ace queen nine deuce flop is jack eight five Veselin bets 100k takes that one down Wrestling tree betting here to 425 with aces double suited. Thomas, the original opener. King eight, six, deuce. Wrestling will take that one down and pass the three million mark. So, folks, still five-handed. 74,100 euro is the current payout. The difference between fifth and fourth is from 74,1 to 93,575. 93,575 euro. Average stack is still close to 2 million which is a good for 40 big blinds at the moment Veselin in the cutoff raising to 125 
10, 9, 8, 7 in the cutoff for Florian. Just calls. Queen Jack 10 3 for Thomas. Flop is 10 6 4. Flop goes check check. Turn is the Queen of Diamonds. Thomas betting 150. Betting a call, 475 in the middle as we hit the river. River is the queen, the king of diamonds. Thomas Hand still best with two pair. Checks his option. Florian is going to check it back. Thomas will take that one down. Playing 3.3 .3 million now, which is good for 66 big blinds. King King 6-4 is just going to limp for Philip uh, and Thomas raising to 200k. Back on Philip.
So it's called. And a king in the window. Good news for Philip. Thomas for top pair. Decent kicker. 525 already out there. So Philip just wondering, or Thomas just wondering how much Philip has behind. him off here and this pot spiraled out of control Philip 91% favorite to take a chunk of Thomas's stack Thomas just with 9% equity 3 million in the pot which is 60 big blinds at the moment is the eight of clubs and that's massive for Philip Over is the ace of diamonds and Thomas now going to be playing under two million for the first time in a while and for Philip who is the sicko known as Berry Sweet online now playing 60 big blinds what a difference a hand makes here folks swings and roundabouts this five-handed affair will continue a little bit longer. Big shift in momentum. That last hand. Vesselin here, flopping bottom set. Fill up a decent amount of equity here in the form of a flush draw and a straight draw. Bet a 150. Philip calls. Is the ten of spades? And that gives Philip even more equity. It is straight now.
and Veslin going to bet big here. Bottom set. You could see a lot of money go in here. Philip not having the nut straight. Probably just wants the call. Who's just called? I'm going to see a river now with 1.425 million in the middle. Oh my god, it's quads. Quads for Veselin. And Philip going to hate that river, pairing the board for Veselin. Quadzilla is in the house. Great that I get to say Quadzilla more than often, more than normal on this channel tonight. Investing going for about a 550 milking Philip really wanting to get paid here for his quads it's going to be a huge pop for Veslin Philip does eventually let it go. And Veslin now playing just under 4 million, which is good for 80 bigs. have just gone up however so Veslin now playing 65 big blinds Philip with 38 bigs Thomas with 31 and Florian and Aku both with 12 bigs this is going to be an interesting level because fourth and fifth with five remaining are even Stevens and no player wants to bust before Florian and Aku let's see how this one plays out Ace 10 10 7 raising on the button. An Aku with King 6 5 3.
So he does take that one down. So Aku now with 10 bigs, Florian with 15. Separates himself between Aku, if only for a short while. Blinds and Andy's gonna be coming around. Hard and heavy. Vestland takes down the blinds and these there with the clean jack A4 double suited. Aku raising to 210k with ace king four deuce. Vestin with queen nine four three double suited. And Vestin going to see a flop for 150k more. King 7-5 is the flop. Decent flop for Aku. 71% equity. Who takes it down? He's got quite the rail. Rest him with Ace King 9 5 in the small blind.
Florian going to call the Queen 10 10 6. Ten in the window, Jack ten five. Another great flop for Veselin. <coughs> great flop for Florian. So good, he's going to check it back. Don't see that too often with a man handhold in PLO. Turn is Deuce of Hearts. value of 225 from Veselin on the turn. Just going to be forced to fold here. Two. Flush draws on board, straight draws out there. Just not going to have enough equity to call 420k more, I wouldn't think. Nushing says, where's the 11% equity here? Isn't there just three queens as outs? Yeah, sometimes the graphics have been a little bit off tonight. It happens, especially putting all these hands into a machine. So just three queens he had, so three queens. So you only had 6%, less than 10 anyway. Or less than 11. Queen a5 is the flop, Thomas with ace. Queen jack four, <coughs> Philip with queen, king nine, eight, three. And Florian with ace, jack, ten, eight, double suited. All players checking to see the turn. Turn is the six of spades. Florian checking, Philip checking, Thomas checking, River is another queen. And Thomas, the best hand here in trips.
120 is the bet. And Florian is going to call. And this looks like a raise from Philippe. Philip, a non believer here. Sense his weakness and is raising to a half a million. Yes, Florian thinking there's enough draws that miss the call with his ace eight. And Philippe Philip thinking Thomas is going to be betting pretty light here on the river after the flop and turn goes check, check, check. So if he thinks he can get both of his opponents to fold, it's a sexy little raise here to a half a million. Thomas is a non-believer and does have ace queen. He's going to call him off. <laughs> and they're hearing some boos in the background. Thomas now playing two and a half million. And Philip back down to 1.65. Players are going to be getting tired soon. It's not their first rodeo. I'm sure they've played till all hours of the morning and the day in some of these cash games 24 hours minimum kind of job but it is 2.46 in the morning and they are aware the 2k main event PLO Big Rap will be played tomorrow and Monday Florian raising to 210 with ace queen jack six. Philip releasing with king queen 8 8. Aku with 8 5 4 deuce. That's a goal. Florian takes down the blinds and antis.
Queen Jack 5 raising to 150. Double suited for Veslin. And Thomas with Ace Ace King 4. He's going to call. Queen three deuce is the flop. Let's check check turn is the jack of clubs. Three ninety in the pot and Thomas checking a second time. Time to start building a pot for Vesselin. Two fifty is the bet. So bet and a call. And the river is the nine of spades. Veslin is best with his two pair. Don't know if he wants to be betting this one. That nine of spades completing. The flush draw and the straight draw. Veslin would be happy to take this one down. Thomas playing two million and Veslin now playing close to four. Philip with ace jack 10 8, raised to 150. Veston's going to call with 10 9 9 8. And Veslin with a set of nines here on the turn. And Philip with a lot of equity here, turning straight draw to go with his nut flush draw. 
second 50 is the bet from Veselin. And Philip will call. You see a river with 890 out there for the taken. River is the ace of clubs. Sack to pot ratio, not quite one to one. 8.90 in the pot. Fill up with 1.2 million behind. I think Vesta wants to bet somewhere around 600 or 700. About half of Philip's stack. Yeah, 575. That's a great sizing. And <laughs> Philip getting frustrated. Can't call this one. I don't think. So many outs, says Ham. Um, how many? Too many outs, maybe. King 4 3 is the flop. Vestum with 10 9 6 deuce. Florian with ace 5 3 deuce. Turn is a king. Veslin with 4.2 million in the stack now and most likely going to take this one down also. Just three big blinds in the pot but they all count at this late stage. Veslin becoming somewhat of a hoover now and all players remaining will be getting frustrated. 
pressure really is on because the pay jumps are just so massive. You've got the difference between 70, 90, 120, 185 and 261. There it is, Florian 19 bigs and Aku with 12 and Philip now with 20. So they're all battling it away there. Then there's a bit of a separation between those three and Thomas playing 34. But now Veslin playing almost half the chips in play with 74 big blinds. Aku raising to 2 and 10 with Queen Queen Jack 7. Aku will take down the blinds and anties. Philip completing in the small with ace jack seven deuce and Aku checking his option with nine nine four deuce flop is nine ten seven. We've got action. Can easily see all the money go in here. Aku with middle set and Philip with a lot of equity. Aku betting 60k. And it's all in and call. Here we go. Big moment here for both players. It's basically a 60 40 in Aku's favour. 1.6 million in the middle. on this river or he will be crippled to five big blinds. And the river, the river is the queen. Massive river for Philip there. Philip will eliminate Aku in fifth place. We had a long, long five-handed battle there, but now alas, four players remain. 
Aku will take home 74,000 euro for his efforts, and that means all players remaining guaranteed a minimum of 93,575 euro. action let the games begin Very sweet, loving this one. King, king, queen, seven on the button for him. Thomas gonna call from the big blind with jack 10, nine, eight. Jack four, three is the flop. is the dose of clubs Let's check check river is the seven of spades Philip. Thomas completing in the small blind. Veslin checking his option. Queen 7 5 is the flop. the clubs is the turn Thomas is going to try buy this one with a bet Veslin with a flush It's a fourth club, it's the king of clubs.
Best in now over four and a half million. Eight eight seven five for Veslin on the button. King Jack Deuce is the flop. Veslin running pretty hot here at the moment, it has to be said. Another set for him.
All right, folks, we will have a break after the next hand. Nice to see so many of you still tuning in at this late hour. Still four-handed. Lots more action to come. This one ain't over for quite some time yet. Marcel Van Vorst is in the house, says, hey guys, hello, Marcel. We're just about to go on a break, buddy, but we will be back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the Platinum 10K, the Big Rap High Roller, live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov. Philip raising to 210 with the 8865 double suited. Florian tree betting to 660 with the Queen Queen 10 deuce double suited. That looks like a call. This pot's going to be huge. 1.4 million in the middle as we go to the flop. Pot stack to pot ratio isn't one to one. So Florian only has 240 behind. It's basically all in pre. Jeez, nice flop there for Florian. Florian. 80% equity here and Philip 20% equity here we go turn is a jack and it's a spade, so 91% now for Florian as we hit the river. Philip needs a miracle to win this one. River is the seven. But he gets there. Seven of hearts. Seals the deal for Philip. What a river. So many outs to dodge. Wow. What a hit there for Philip. Commiserations. Fourth place will take home 93,575 euro. We are going to go on a short break for less than 15 minutes and come back and crown a champion. We're going to put a ribbon on this thing. 82 bigs for Veselin. Philip with 52 and Thomas with 24. I will see you all in a few moments. All in with yeah, the A6. So the D next yeah, wakes up one. one. That's probably coming. Let's see what the other one is. Why is it always ugly? Oh, never mind. That's plenty. Plenty good against this man. He goes only with 946. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm all in. D next makes the call. Cards on their backs. Oh, he has an ace. How do you get an ace? 
Ben Heath. Remember what we were saying about Bet Fan? Let's talk about the worst hand win. Came into this final table as chip leader. Yeah, have a good hand. That shoves. Yeah. Been a bit up and that, like down <laughs> if he can hold here. He would have shoved. He would fold 86 off for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like he will stop Daniel Negreanu. King. Right in his tracks, and winning bracelet King. number King. seven. Yeah. Where's the spiel about the best hand winning now? <laughs> That's what I, I reversed it. I reversed it. Like, we, let's forget all that. To the flop, the ladies and gentlemen, forward. and is a king King's in the window. King. King. Trip kings for Daniel Negreanu. Well, it's not over yet. Hunting King. bracelet King. number seven, and in great shape. Ben to get the double here, and needs to fade the running Broadway of running clubs, and Ben Heath is dead on the turn would you believe chat is history about to be made here in roswadov daniel negranu doubles up to 20 big blinds All in from Kamenita, and Pansier is asking for a kind. Really, really awful spot for him. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom of range when our opponents could easily just, you know, 3x trashy hands like 8-3 and whatnot. I think you're absolutely right, Henry. I think we, uh, we want to be limping in there sometimes. Obviously, it is nice to just go ahead and rip and, you know, see what happens, let the cards fall where they may, but getting trappy is never a bad thing. We don't have a hand like Queens, which doesn't need too much protection from over cards. As we see Panzier raising the 500,000 under the gun, comes on the mid-open, and Mr. Wheeler, all the way from Chicago. Doesn't have the worst hand in the world to three bet fold. But we're gonna see a re-raise after he takes this time, but elects to just let it go. Oh, Mr. Wheeler. Super. I'm seeing a 22 big blind stack. See the payouts in the chat there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to hear my Jason Wheeler story? It's, you, it's your story, mate, yeah. I really? feel like I've built it up to something it's not. Oh, no. Is it another... Another what? Disappointing <laughs> Gary Blackwood story. Yes, it is. Yes, kind, it of, is. kind of like your jokes. Your dad jokes. Oi, let me take that back. Right, so I think the year is 2018. I'm playing my first ever World Series of Poker main event. Oh, oh no. I think I'm a oh. It's okay, yeah? I let it like this and fold. Wow. So, so Bulan has. Just set fire to 125k, didn't realize that it had been opened. Make you will play 10 5 Make you will play 10 5 And you? Yeah. You also lose your Wow. Well, that's pretty, that's a pretty brutal live misclick. Yeah. Really need to stay dialed in in these spots, chat, pay attention. I mean, there's a lot going on. Would have flopped an open ender. What a weird spot. What will you play after WSC? Bolo with 3.5. Behind 1.4 in the middle. Yeah, and then EPD Prague. And time off. And then time off. Thinking of going to Amsterdam. Not like big, but it's going to be fun. Let's check through. Five of clubs on the turn, pairing the board. Bulu immediately reaching. Henry spoke about this earlier. He tends to act hella quickly. Comes out with a very quick stab here for 350,000 chippies. Yeah, big fan of this turn probe for quarter pot. And tree fitting. Not going to get the job done, though. Panzier correctly deciphering that this game is going to be good a lot of the time here makes a call but you're looking for a seven and eight or a nine to take the lead pansy is staring him down six of hearts on the river bit of a disaster card if you're boodaloo because now 
the ASX type hands a little more likely to call. Not going to slow him down, Gary. As he goes B25 on the turn, B50 thereabouts on the river. Straight draws miss, flush draws miss. Panze with just ace high. One of the better ace highs to call with, though. Your opponent shouldn't be bluffing much ace X or king X. So you unblock those bluffs. You don't block too much value, mind you. You don't block ace six suited. You do block king six suited. You don't block king five suited. I was like, oh, this just happens all the time. These guys really focused. Every pot extremely important. Makes the call. That's cool, sir. Take a bow. Not easy. Obviously, easy for us in the booth and at home. But out there, bright lights, cameras. Don't want to look like player, Yeah, two players away from a WSOP bracelet event final table. If you think me my mistake, it was Stays dialed in and finds the correct call up to 10 million in chips. Now, the Frenchman. Crumbs. Crumbs. What did you think of Rosvedov Everhoof? Curious to hear your thoughts on this place. How many likes have we got on YouTube? I hear you ask, as we're going to see a flop for the first time in a while. 257. You guys are awesome. My name is Gary Blackwood, also known as GazzyB123. As we get a very interesting flop here. The Jack Deuce of Spades flopping the flush draw. Pansier flopping top pair. I don't see Pansier doing much checking here. Maybe he just check rips it. Who knows? Does elect to check. Caminita with that flush draw and the overcard. Reasonable equity here for the Italian. He decides to knuckle it on back. Five of diamonds on the turn. No help to Caminita just yet, although he does pick up the gut shot. A four would give him a straight. A jack would give him top pair. A spade would give him a flush. 31% equity. Does Pansier start to fire now? Answer is yes. Lars Demonk says EPT Prague is soon. Yes, it is, my friend. Yes, it is. 2.4 million is a bet. Call from Kamenita. No help to him on the river. Panse with the best of it. 8.4 million in there. Caminita with a pot size bet left behind. Had to get an action flop. And then nine deuce versus jack deuce hands. Caminita didn't bluff the river earlier in this spot. When his king high flush draw missed. A lot less showdown value here with the jack deuce. All in from Caminita and Pansier. Is asking for a kind. Really, really awful spot for him with just second pair. Lots of draws missed, though. Lots of hands like Jack 4, 10, 4. Spades. Chat. Do we think he's going to call it off? Type number one if you think he's going to call, two if he's going to fold. Get your answers in as soon as possible. One if you think Pansier makes the call with a pair of nines, two if you think he folds. We've got deuce, deuce, deuce already. Bunch of ones. Wow, answers coming in thick and fast. Plant the seed, there are 2,982. Looks to be that the chat thinks a call is slightly more likely. All those missed draws as mentioned, but a bunch of two pairs. A bunch of straights that might play like this. Pansier with the big stack, he might want to preserve that stack. If he calls and loses, he's down to about 15 million. Less, actually. But on the other hand, guys and girls, if he calls and wins, he's got one hand on the bracelet.
should have gone all in on the turn with that hand. A little surprised they didn't get it in on the flop, to be honest with you. There's no obvious two pairs. I think there are some. 5-3, 6-3, 6-5, 9-5, It gets through, and he shows the bluff. Oh, my days. You love to see it. Kamenita instantly on his back. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs>all right folks we are back three players remaining all chasing that first prize and the title first prize of 261,250 euro veslin in great shape here with 61 bigs playing just shy of 5 million blinds have just gone up small blind is 40k big blind 80k with an 80k running big blind anti that's 40 80 80 Philip going to call the additional 120k with the ace jack 10 5. Set for Veslin.
King Jack 10 4, double suited for Veslin, Ace 10 9 6 for Philip. 7 3 deuce is the flop. Weston bets 300k, takes it down. He can really put the foot on the gas with that much chips in front of him. All remaining three players securing a six figure payday for themselves. Thomas completing 10, 9, 8, 5. That's going to jump it up, it looks like. This is the 240. Person flopping the flush. The lowest flush he can have on ace nine six. Veslin will call. Burn is the six of hearts. Burn goes check, check. River is the ten of spades. Veslin's still best, but won't be loving this run out. Paired board as well. and checks that's 200k trying to buy this pot
640 out there, 200k for Veston to call. He can't beat much, but there is four spades on board. Forced to let it go. Weston raising with ace king 7 3 and Philip 3 betting to 680 with ace king queen 10. King Queen 9-5 for Thomas. Thomas now playing 12 big blinds, a million on the dot. Veslin bumping it up with the ace jack 10 9. Almost forced to let it go. Queen, Queen, eight, deuce. Veslin completing. Philip checking with the jack, eight, seven, four. Flop going check check, turn is the deuce of diamonds.
Beston taking down another pot, five and a half million he's playing now. King Jack 10-7. 200k to go. Philip making it 200k to go, ace queen 8 3. Investing gonna call with a double suited jack 7 3 deuce. Ten seven five goes check check. Turn is the queen of clubs. Philip with the check mark here. Queen of Diamonds hitting the river. Philip with the trips, just deciding how much to bet. Thinks half pot is a good sizing. Thomas raising to 280, takes it down. We're dealing with the guts of a 65,000 euro pay jump, by the way, between third and second place. So Vesselin can really just go ham. Thomas Ribeiro needing a double up.
Philip limps on the boat with Jack 9, 7, 6. Thomas completes ace 9, 8, deuce. Veslin checks with King Queen 4 3. Flop is ace jack 5. Wrestling with the check mark with the straight here on the turn, the nut straight. Tom's calls 160k. We will see the river. The river is a blank. It's the deuce of clubs. Like you saying, it's not a blank in PLO though. Thomas now with two pair. Ham, how many? It says classic concert in the background. That is the jackpot being won once again. This is essentially for Thomas's tournament. He would just be left with 200k if he was the call. He's got a bad two pair. I think he's just got to let it go. But he decides to call. He's going to get the bad news. How many says yikes tilt call well we've just been playing for so long decision fatigue sets in you can only make so many decisions in a day and they're sitting there paying playing for over a quarter of a million euro you could call it some form of a hero call they've been playing many many hours with each other at this table they paid 10,000 euro to get into this tournament they have many accolades to their name so he obviously had his reasons and if you're liking the show ham be sure to tune in tomorrow night and Monday all day Monday the 2K main event, PLO Big Rap will be on. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be action packed.
There is a large ruckus happening in the background. Thomas all in for his last 200k with 975 deuce. And Veston tree betting to 680k with the ace king 6 3. And Thomas with a lot of equity to double up here. King Ace Tree is the flop. Turn is a king. Investment has eliminated Thomas Libero in third place. Commiserations, unlucky circle game. You will take home 121,600 euro for your efforts. And that means we are going to go heads up for the title. All players guaranteed a minimum of 185,270 euro. Ham, how many thinks this final table went really fast so far? Well, I'm not sure what time zone you're, where you're from, or what time zone you're dealing with. But we started about eight hours ago with 20 players 21 players remaining we played down until we had 11 left 11 got in the money then we got to nine for the final table i don't think it's gone that quick it is plo though Ah, yes, I understand what you mean. You thought it would be a bit of a longer spin because you tuned in when there were six left, but we'd already been playing for quite some time at that stage. And they're beasts, so they, they want to gamble and they want to get it in. Me too. I am also coming from a no-limit holding background, so totally understand. But this weekend at Kings, we've got double trouble, double the stuff. Action packed, hot limit Omaha, extravaganza. So folks, there is the trophy they are playing for. Philip playing 35 bigs, the rest of the chips in play belonging to Veselin. Flop is nine seven five. Draw heavy flop. Vessel in checking.
the aces lets it go just a terrible flop for aces Philip checks with the Jack A5 tree. Burn is a ten. Philip checking. Veslin checking back. Over is the Queen of Clubs. I'm going to try to buy this one. It's called by Philip. Two pair good. Investing with the straight blockers. Thought he could get Philip to fold. Two pair there. Or something along those lines. So, hand one, four, two. Philip completing with nine, seven, six, three. Veslin bumping it up with king, king, queen, three. Philip calling. Nine four deuce is the flop. is the Queen of Hearts. There is 1.1 million in the pot now. Veslin, 75% equity, 25% for Philip. Pot is the bet from Veselin.
This has got the attention of Philip. He'll be forced to let this go. Six and a half million now playing three. Two to one chip lead. And a little bit of cheese on top for Veselin. says hate to have to fold straight flush draws yeah he got blown off his equity there Veston takes it down the bed. Philip completing on the button, Veselin checking with ace jack 9 4. Philip with 8 5 3 deuce, double suited. Flop is ace 8 7. Check, check. Burn is the ace of diamonds. Weston checking, Philip betting, 125, trips here for Veslin. a lot of draws out there, won't be going anywhere on this turn card, does call, River is an eight. And Veslin checks over to Philip. He's going to bet 300k. Gets picked off by Veslin. And now Veslin playing well over seven million and Philip playing very close to two.
Veslin betting 275 here with the double suited King Jack 9 6. And we've got action here because Philip with a set of queens. Raised to 800k. Puts them all in. We've got an all in and a call. Veslin. 34% equity. 4.2 million in the middle up for grabs. Philip, a two to one favorite to even things out in this heads-up battle. Just a million will separate the two if Philip can hold. If Veslin spikes it, it is all over. Turn is the eight of hearts. River is the three of clubs. Philip will sit back down, fist bump the air. Now playing 52 bigs and Veslin playing 66. What a difference a hand can make. <laughs> Look at the joy on that man's face. He loves it. Phenomenal competitors, these two. And Philip falling on the button. Vessen really didn't want to double this man up. It looks like they are going to go on a short break for eight minutes or so. Vestin with nearly 60% of all the chips in play and Philip with 40% of all the chips in play. I will see you all within 10 minutes. We'll come back with the conclusion of the big wrap platinum 10k PLO high roller. See you all in a few moments.
Blackie look under the gun, raising with ace queen off suit to 45k. And he said with the two black Jeffries, two seats over. Raise. He's going to raise. The three bet to 105k. Mexi now in the big blind with two nines. A difficult spot. The rays coming from under the gun and the tree bet from mid position one. Oh. Just called the 85k more. I think with this stack depth, this is totally fine. Try flop a set three ways. Why not? So three way action to the flop, 345k in the middle. Ace, eight, seven, all spades is the flop. Lucky look, flopping by far the best of it here. Top pair, queen high flush drop. Sad wants to bet, he wants to bet something around 100k, 85k, something like that. Goes for 90. How much to play, please? Look, the option raise or just call raising 250k here. Over the top. Just the jack of spades. Going with his read. Don't know what this accomplishes really. It's a very daring move. Lucky Luck showing significant strength, raising to a quarter of a million on the flop. is a non-believer of the quarter of a million rays it would seem
And if you're lucky, look, you're not loving this calling off. You're going to be losing against Maid Flush's Ace King. Considerable portion of the time here. You show? I fold the real Wow, big wow, hand. wow. I know. You would not Sad. believe if you see. <coughs> You can see later. Later we can see. Mad yeah. genius I move has worked. I no, say no, that, that sad aces. Or, ace king, or a, I think sad ace. Sad wrapping a hand stronger than ace queen. I think you have maybe a sad Getting for ace. lucky look to fold ace queen ace with the queen of spades. Very good place draw. We're playing poker today, folks. Uh, show one, one, card, one, one, card, card, one card, one card. No, no, no. Ace Queen and Queen of Spades. Wow. On the turn. The move with the jacks, with the jack of spades working this time, but needs to be really careful doing stuff like that. What's up? Good morning. Are you ready for today? Yeah. See you at Kings.
All right, folks, we are back. This one getting dangerously close to being even, about 10 big blinds separating the two. stack 47 big blinds still <laughs> Philip raising to 300k Veselin calling with the Queen Jack 6 3 pre. Flop is a 7 3. Philip Best 300k takes it down. Seventy five K difference between second and first, by the way. Nice to see so many of you still tuning in to see which one of these players will become the platinum ten K PLO high roller champion. And 700k in the pot in the turn here, and a bet of 425 from Veselin. Let's go. Five point two now playing four point two.
Philip raising to 300k with ace, king, queen, three, vesting, calling with 10, 10, 8, 4. Jack, seven, deuce is the flop. Seven hundred K in the pot on the turn, Queen of Diamonds. It's top pair now for Philip. Goes check check. River is the nine, giving Veslin the best hand with a straight. Going to bet about three Fede. Oh. And he does pay the man. Veslin now playing six million. And Philip playing 10, 9, 8, 4 is going to complete. Beston bumps it up to 300k. Philip calling. Beston with the ace jack. 10, 9. Flop is queen, queen, deuce. Rested in completing the eight six six deuce. Philip betting 100k here on the turn. Turns the gates of hearts. A lot of draws out there on the 10 8, Queen Ace. Veslin is going to call. 
river is a seven. And Veslin with the best hand, but very difficult to call 350 here. Forced to let it go. Philip gets one through. Now playing 3.3 .3 mil. Nine seven deuce is the flop. Vestlin with King Jack ten eight. Philip with six six four deuce. It's a post flop coin flip. And Vesting is going to put Philip to the test here. Wrapping around that board really nicely. Takes that one down. Philip betting 100k here on Ace Ace 7. Vesslin going to call. Turn is the 8 of Hearts. And Philip betting a second time here. Veslin going to call a second time. 1.1 million in the middle as we see the river. River is the jack of spades. Veslin with the check mark hitting the straight on the river. It looks like Philip is going to bet again. Maybe is going to go against his first instinct. Checks over to Veslin.
Besselin is just going to check his straight and will take this down now playing seven and a half million once more and Philip playing two million going forward. Bear Totem says check back. Yeah, he just didn't want to get check raised off his hand and he didn't think there was much value to be extracted by betting, so he decided to just check it back. Hello, Bear Totem, how are you? Besson McQueen, Jack 5-5, five, five. two hearts, going to complete, and the Queen Queen, Jack 10, Philippe is going to raise to 300k, Besson is going to call, heads up to the flop, Ace King 6, That's 400k. Nick Ham asks, is it possible to get the winnings paid out in crypto and King's Casino? I don't know about that. I think it's cash is king at King's. So half a million here on the turn, ace, jack, three, five is the board. Philip with a set of trees. Scratch that, he's got quads.
Philip betting half a million. And Vesselin will let it go. Besson raises into 300k with Queen Jack 97. Philip calling with the Ace King 94. Bear Totem says Veselin is playing nice and snug, slowly choking Philip. Well, they've both had their moments. He's got him on the ropes for the second time, but having 20 big blinds in PLO, still no big worry. million is the bet on this river from Philip. Philip completing on the bottom of ace, eight, seven, six, Veston. Checking with king, four, four, deuce. Flop is nine, five, three.
check from Vestland. Philip betting one big blind. Vestland going to call. Turn is a seven. Philip with the straight now. Best in betting 200k here with a full house on the turn on ace 5-5 five, five, king. Philip with a flush is going to call. There is the jack of diamonds. This is an action card. Philip with a full house. Vestin with a better full house. Wants to go on the larger side here, something around two thirds pot. Seems like a good sizing, like 700, 750, goes for 750. Philip does call, gets the bad news, now playing 2.4 million. Going forward, Veston over the 7 million mark once again.
Ace 4 4 is the flop. Philip betting one big here with Jack 10 9 3. Investor McQueen, Jack 6 5. Ace 10, 6 4, double suited on the button for Philip. Vesta McKing, 10 10, deuce. 200k from the call. Just lets it go. Queen, Queen, Jack is the flop. Philip at the nine, eight, six, five. Investing with six, five, three, deuce. Turn is the six of clubs. Investing betting 100k. Philip lets it go. Philip raises 300k with Queen Jack 10 9 double suited. Ace 5 4 4 for Veselin will call. Flop is Queen 7 3. Philip bets 400k, Veston <coughs> folds. Told them as, are they half hour levels? I don't think so. A lot longer than that.
Philip going to take this one down. Now playing over three million once more. Ten seven seven four double suited for Philip. We'll call. Investing with Jack seven deuce deuce. Going to check his option. Jack six six is the flop. Preston gonna call on the button with Jack 1055. Philip gonna check his option. King 774. Flop is ace 105. Philip betting 200 k And Veslin gonna call in position. Turn is the seven, giving Philip a set. Bet's pot. And Vesson with a set of fives against the set of Philip. Six million in the pot. Vesson set to lose a chunk of chips unless he can get extremely lucky on the river. Swings and roundabouts. River is the deuce of spades. Vessen will be disgusted to send half his chips in the other direction. And for Philip, we'd be delighted to scoop. This guy has been some scrappy underdog at this FT. He's come back from the brink a few times and now finds himself in a commanding chip lead.
Philip with the best hand here on the turn. 700k in the pot. Bet will take this down. It is now 12 minutes past five at the King's Resort. Players must be starting to get tired, but they are used to playing mammoth day long sessions in cash games, so this won't phase them in the slightest. Totem says they don't look tired, they couldn't handle this. No, they don't look tired. It's a young man's game. Or a woman. Green 10 deuce is the flop. and bets 350k and takes it down. There you have it folks, blinds are going up and they're going up to 60, 125, 125. So that's a slight correction there. 50 big blinds playing 30. Still 80 big blinds in play. Wrestling with King Queen Six Deuce and Philip with Queen Queen Jack Five. Jack Nine Four is the flop.
Philip Betts, 400k and takes it down. So crazy, all momentum shifting in that man's direction now. Veselin's had it much of his own way throughout this FT. But it ain't over yet. These two players very evenly matched, of course. Well used to each other's game. Pot from Vessel in here with King Queen Queen Tree. Should have put a Queen 954. Just lets it go. Philip betting 125 here on the turn. So Vessel in raising to 375 with the ace, king, king, jack, double suited. Philip is going to call with the queen, queen, nine, six. Flop is ace, ten, nine. Philip 
flopping a flush. Betting 875k here on the turn. Veslin forced to concede. Philip is going to limp with the 10.76 deuce and Veslin going to make a 3.75 with ace, king, queen, three. Philip is going to call. Six is the flop. is the seven. Philip is going to check back. 875 in the pot now. Whoever is the king of spades. Veslin betting 275k. Philip wants the call, but has to let it go, folds.
Best in betting, 200k here on King 6-5. And Philip lets it go. Bit of betting 300k on the Queen Jack Deuce with the Ace King 10 5. Veslin with the 6 5 4 3. Gonna have to let this one go. Veslin getting somewhat frustrated, has to be. He's had it all his own way for a lot of this FT, as I aforementioned. Fantastic result for both of these players already. 185,000 locked up. Both chasing the title though. The additional 80,000 euro. Flop nine five three going check check turns the seven of diamonds. Philip raising the 375 here on the ace jack 75. Veslin in the big line with the king, king 10 6 double suited. Nice hand here for Veslin. Philip forced to fold. sure if you're still tuning in folks we're going to have so much more plo tomorrow monday 
We're on all the usual social media pla platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We've got a TikTok channel, King's Resort Official on there. Give us a like, subscribe and a, fo and a follow on Twitch, YouTube. We've got great new content, weekly videos. If you want to buy some merchandise or find out additional information about this fantastic resort, head over to the website www.kingsresort.com. Best in raising the 375 with the Ace King 77. Nine five four is the flop. Gonna put the check mark here with a full house. Philip raising the tree 75 with the ace king 7 tree. Five four deuce is the flop. And this could provide some action. Philip flopping huge here and it is going to provide some action because Veslin moving all in we have an all in in the call 68% of the time Philip is going to be your champion here and now 32% of the time Veslin is going to be back to 5.2 million here we go Burn is the king of spades And the river, river is the ace of hearts. Oh my God, it's a split. I didn't even see that. It's a chop, folks. Sit back down, lads. Wow. Even the players didn't see it for a second. So much drama. <laughs> All that drama for nothing.
Vesson is going to complete on the button with King 9 4 Deuce. Philip going to check his option with Ace 9 8 6. A7 5 is the flop. Check, check. Turn is the Queen of Hearts. And Philip will be quite dejected that he couldn't end it there and then. And for Vesson, it's a second wind, a second life. Still battling the 20 big blind stack. Philip raising to 375 with the King 10 9 8. Vesting calling with the Jack Jack 7 3. And here we go. Vesting with a set of jacks and a backup flush draw. Philip wrapping around this Jack 9-7 very nicely. Flopping a straight. Let's see it all going in here. Vesson betting 350. Philip raising enough to put Vesson all in. It's all in and call. It's 5.2 million in the middle. And it could be all over here and now. If Philip, I would say hold, but he's got 43% equity against Vesson's flopped set of jacks with a backup flush draw. This one far from over. And if Vestling can get lucky, he's going to be the chip leader. And we are back to 5 million, playing 2 million, or playing 4 million. The turn is the ace of spades. And now Philip, 62% against Vestling's 38% as we hit the river. Yes! River is the eight of diamonds. Philip fist bumps the air. He has done it. He's come back many times at this FT. All the chips in play. Nine and a half million chips equals 260,250 euro. What a night of massive PLO action live from King's Resort in Rosvedov. It's been fantastic. Action packed from the get go. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I'm going to go get some shut eye and be ready for two massive days of the PLO Big Rap 2K main event. For now, I'm going to say my goodbyes. Commiserations to second place there. Veselin playing very well. Both players should be chuffed. An amazing score, but there is your champion. Congratulations to him. For now, I'm going to say my goodbyes. Catch me if you can. I've been Action Man Dan. Ja, det är inte
dumme det alltså. Du vet det så. Det var en sorts chips ja. Nej, det var inte.